Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the streams. You guys are amazing. Welcome aboard. I have some uh, some news. Last couple of days when we were playing Icarus and the last couple of days when we were playing uh, Project Zomboid, I was making some... Uh, they were just jokes. They were jokes. I was joking about John Madden. Boom! Well, yesterday around midday, John Madden passed away. F's in the chat, boys, for John Madden. A uh, wonderful individual with a good heart and a good spirit. And funny to make fun of. He had a funny way of talking and stuff. He was a good dude. He's a good dude, but he's gone now at the age of 85, man. John, we love you. Thanks for all the jokes. There's some really hilarious skits out there from Frank Caliendo, <clears throat> who does a really wonderful John Madden impersonation. But who needs a John Madden impersonator when you have John Madden? It's a funny dude. It's a funny dude. Love him. Can't think of, like, the full time without football and can't think of football without John Madden. And Pat Summerall. So in the words of Pat Summerall, thanks, John. Appreciate it, dude. Good to see you all back for Project Zomboid. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for being here. Um, thanks for becoming members. This game's on sale, by the way, until I think... I think the Steam sale's over on, like, the 2nd of January or the 5th of January. So make sure you pick up this and many other games you may have seen on the channel today. Like, they, they're not going to get any cheaper, folks. So, like, jump on that. And... Uh, is there a new free game on, on Epic? Usually, like, somebody tags me and tells me about a new game. Endred's been tagging me, and so have a couple of you guys, like, DMing me about the new game on Epic. There's, like, a new game every day free on Epic, so make sure you grab that, too, for those of you on budgets and stuff. Um, and that's that's awesome, by the way. Great way to save money and invest it into other things, like a better PC or a new console or something. Hey, 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there, 10 bucks here, 10 bucks there. Adds up. Hundreds of dollars. Get yourself a new PC or a new game. Um, at full price later on in the next year. Anyway, welcome everybody to uh, Project Zomboid. I'll be jumping in with Jerry again. We're going to keep on uh, zipping around in the base. I've just been having tons of fun. But I want to thank uh, people like uh, Rick for hosting the server and uh, just everybody for a wonderful year. Thanks, guys, for a million subs and whatnot. I'm just working on getting a video for you guys ready for uh, later today. So thanks for uh, hanging out as I just work on clicking a couple of buttons on YouTube. It's been awesome making videos for you guys. I've really, uh, these streams are the best because I just get to be myself. The videos are a little more, you know, they're more curated for the algorithm so that way the channel can dro grow. But once you guys are here, you come in droves. So thanks for uh, hanging out. And uh, thanks for Jerry for putting up with me. Right, Jerry? Oh, he, good. He didn't hear that. Good. Ooh, Back for Blood is on sale for 35 bucks. Damn, get Back for Blood. That's a fantastic game. I'm just checking out Steam right now. Uh, a bunch of open world games, survival games, strategy games. I would say this game is a lot. Like, you have to have some strategy before you go out into your environment. It is an open world game. It is a simulation game. It is a survival game, a fighting game. It's a lot of things, dude. It's a, a trucking simulator. Because, <laughs> you know, if you like, if you go into a neighborhood, load up a, a car and a trailer full of, uh, of stuff, and then leave and go back to your base, it is uh, busy times. Anyway, we're going to jump into Project Zomboid. Good to see you all back. Thanks for all the support. Welcome to all the new members. You guys are the best. Welcome. Uh, yeah, John at Madden made an unexpected play and got, uh, scored some deep penetration in the gates of heaven. What a good dude, though. Uh, it's nice that there's so many people who uh, are just passionate about... They're, they're, they're known for just being good at and passionate about the thing that they're good at and passionate about. You know, such as Steven Spielberg, good for directing, just, just as John Madden for football, just as Bob Ross for art, or... Um, Jimi Hendrix for music or guitar, you know, like you can you can name a million names for a million things, but it's nice to know that, like when you think of Ben and Jerry, well, we don't have a Ben, but we do have a Jerry. You think of Project Zomboid. What? Okay, let's begin. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Matthew. How's it going, buddy? Good. Good. Are you? Did you die? Yes. You did again? <laughs> did you? No way. I have level three electrical. Wait, did you die since yesterday's death? Or apparently I was too close to you and I'm sorry about that. I didn't I didn't know. No, that wasn't you. Okay. Yeah, 
when when two people are pushing zombies, they just kind of go all over the place. Okay, yeah, I th I feel like we've um, I feel like we've uh, been um, killed more by lag than by zombies, if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> You know how it is. You know how it be. Anyway, you want to go set up a new base today? What's our What's our order of business today, bro? Oh, it's 2 a.m., so I guess we'll chill out for a little while till it's daytime. We have so many American flags. Ooh. <laughs> I was feeling like, uh... We have to get that oven, which I can go get now. You want to get a fire one? Oh, no, you want an electric one. Yeah. And I was thinking of like building up on the roof and then building like a catwalk to the other building, to the second story window over there. Oh, you want to build a catwalk between two buildings? Yep. That's some seven days to die level stuff right there, brother. <laughs> That's cool. So wait, this building has a second story? The, the opposite one. Oh, you want to build uh, a big storage one. Right? <clears throat> so you want to build like a, a like a platform to go to the roof of this building that we're in now from the second yes. building. Oh, all right, I'll go inspect that. By the way, chat memberships are open. Click tap join, become a member today. Oh, lol. Who is this? Um. Oh, salute. Wait, that's what he's... Wait. Oh, just clearing the area. Cool. Jerry! Yes? There's zombies. Yes, there are zombies. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this zombie. <laughs> yeah! My first zombie kill! My first zombie comes with everything you see here. Support from chat not included. Just kidding, I know you love me. So what Jerry wants to do... Wow. We're Jerry organized in here. And a duffel bag! That's a sign of Jerry. It's like Santa Claus when he takes a bite of the cookie. And just leaves the rest. Um... I don't know how the hell you expect to build... Okay, well. What have you got planned, brother? Amen. And what are zombies doing to my chocolate? Ba -dum -ba -ba -ba. We got a lot of space in here, too. A lot of room for activities, Jerry. We could turn this into a hot yoga studio. Ah, it's 93. We can get ahead of the curve. <laughs> uh, was that Zumba? Oh, the Zumba. Wait, those are pants. Zumba. Oh, yeah. Weren't they like zebra stripes of all sorts of different colors? Dude, do you remember Tybo, dude? <laughs> do you remember Tybo? <laughs> that guy doing, doing this? Ah! Yeah, it's like oh, I just punched the mic. It's awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, Ty Bo, everybody. You remember chat? Remember? Remember you? Remember? Remember Ty Bo? It's gonna be a big project. It's gonna require a lot of tree chopping. Are you want me to go cut trees now? Do we have an axe for that? Yep. I'll do it in the morning. Oh, I can supervise. Wait, is there like a... Wait, do you have a... You probably cut down trees if you get like a better skill, right? For, uh, what would you call it? Long... What is an axe under? Long blade? Oh, no, axe. axe. There's literally an axe skill. Okay. Well, I have zero. Yeah, we should go to the firehouse and like raid a bunch of, uh, fire axes. We, we have some hatchets. Hatchets, oh. <laughs> Maurice, you're making curry today from the Netherlands? Dude, I gotta get over to Europe. I, I, I keep wanting to travel, but it's like everybody keeps telling me to make plans and then they get mad at me for not making plans. And I'm like, dude, you know what's gonna happen? And then it happens and it's like, dude, don't... And then they're mad at me. And it's like, what do you mean? Like, I told you. I don't make the rules, dude. But it's like, unless you roll a triple D20, it ain't gonna happen. You gotta roll three three d twenties now. Chat doesn't know what that means. You see, chat, there's uh, a letter that comes after. <laughs> Never mind, forget it. 
Have I tried grabbing the mannequin from the mall to display my clothing? We actually left a mannequin behind at one of the storage things. I'm sure someone else stole it. I'm... <sighs> I'm upset. Uh, new rules, you have to be quarantined if you come to the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. Look, for... My mindset on that is fine. I'll do whatever for everyone else's safety and whatever. That's fine. If there are rules, I will follow them. I don't man I don't mind what they are. Mostly because I stay home anyway, so it doesn't really apply to me for most things. <laughs> but I don't know. It just sucks. Raptor the mannequin is still there. Oh thank God. Uh we're using vanilla for the most part. There is like one modded car that Rick wanted to use, but there's no... We're not using any sort of heavy mods by any means. Although, honestly, every time we talk about mods, it makes me wish games like City Skylines and stuff would just, like, update so that way some mods weren't needed. Like, some features are, like, no-duh. Like, the Move It mod in City Skylines to be able to nudge a little road over a little bit instead of rebuilding the whole thing. It's like... Yeah, bro, come on. Hey! What are you doing here? Oh, that's fine. Oh, he has a crowbar. Hell yeah, brother. I love the crowbar. Wait, am I wearing my baklav ba baklava anymore? Why, oh, it doesn't even look like it. It just looks like I have, like, um, like paint on my face. Like, you know, camo. Hmm. Anyway, it's 5 a.m., Jerry. Uh, you want me to go gather some wood? You want me to go start swinging some axes? Ask some trees some questions? Okay. Yep. Is there an axe I should use? Um, Is there one that's better than the others, or...? I know I left a hatchet in the truck, I believe. Alright, brother. Amen. As you've grown a beard, yeah, but a beard doesn't like grow go under your bak your baklava. Aren't you supposed to eat baklava? Yeah, there's baklava and baklava. Know the know the difference, kid. Talk to your child about the difference between baklava and baklava. CBS cares. Uh, I don't see anything in the truck or an axe. No hatchet. No, sir. Uh, I, actually, I think I was mistaken. I see a hand axe. Is that a hatchet? Is that the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand That's axe. synonymous? Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll go start working. Good thing the axe doesn't talk back. Oh my god, the trauma from that, Jessica. That was so damn annoying, that axe from... Uh, Don't Starve Together. Well, at least doing this will get my axe, um... With my axe skill up. Sir? Oh, I hear a couple zombies. Alright, over here, folks. Don't, don't, uh... Don't die on the farm. Is this Icarus? I liked Icarus, but it's like, a lot of that stuff was too long and the bears seriously pissed me off. I was so damn frustrated with that last time. And then Jer Jerry sent me a video that was like, alright, I'm out. Which was the spider bear climbing the side of a mountain. Could you imagine that, Jerry? If we climbed that mountain and like we're, we're getting attacked from a bear on the side of the mountain, I would have been... <laughs> yeah. I would have thrown my computer out the window. It would have been unbearable. New member, That's welcome. funny, I was just... Like, I almost made it all the way up, and I was just chilling at the end of the stream. Yeah, Red, uh, you, you know how, like, you can ride your horse on the side of the mountains in Skyrim? It was basically that, but one of the AI bears was basically climbing the side of the mountain just like... Like like a goat. Like a billy goat. Uh, Price check on... Uh, we need to clean up aisle 5 on zombies. If someone could put those into a pile. It would be cool if this game had a little uh, wheelbarrow that you could put stuff in and then just push a short distance, like the shopping cart and stuff.
Is it weird that you own five or six different axes? No way, dude. Uh, honestly, I think one of the coolest cool channels on YouTube is like anybody who does woodworking. Love those channels where it'll just be guy goes out to the forest, cuts up a couple pieces of wood, makes a beautiful like I don't know handle or something out of it for like a another tool that he's making. I love those channels. I wish I had those skills and patience. It's amazing when somebody has a like a already natural not a natural skill but like a a skill in like woodworking or metalworking. But then they also learn the skill of like making videos for YouTube. Like that's pretty damn. There's something special about that, man. There's a good mob for shopping carts. Yeah, I Jerry was talking about shopping carts. Anyway, Jerry, where do you want the uh, the logs? By the way, logs like behind the back door. We're gonna build the uh, stairs up to the roof there. Um, in our main building. Yeah. Understood. Down one actual is underway. Heading at warp one. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Oh wow, we have all these planks, bro. Oh, are you getting ready? We need any help? Oh, that's hey, uh, Dion. There. Well, thanks, Dion. That's nice. You don't have to do that, by the way. Feel free to, like, do whatever you'd like. If you want. Oh, it's already full. I think I should just dump it on the ground. Be cool if we could make different um, storage. You, you know how, like in Valheim, Jerry, how you can build like a rock storage or like a log storage. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool if we could do that in this game, like make a little log thing. I don't know what you call those, but you know, you know Jerry, you know, you know. What games do I like? I like survival games, simulator games, strategy games, tycoon games. I love these top-down games, by the way. This this style of game right here is a lot of games that like probably me and Jerry grew up with like Diablo was like this and Railroad uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon was like this Railroad Tycoon a lot of good games of many different styles were in this weird like isometric style like even Command and Conquer and Dune and uh, Starcraft and all those games were like this too so this was like this right here was like 90% of the games in the 90s so this is what we call our natural habitat uh, danger to myself gaming five with the five. Thanks, dude. Still a supporter while YouTube fixes my membership. Still love the stream. So thank you, dude. Don't know what's going on there, but um, thank you very much for your support. And uh, that that is awesome, you guys. I, it's very nice when you guys are passionate about the channel. Uh, that that means a lot. A lot of people could just dismiss the channel as just a channel, and that's true. But it's nice when you guys are passionate. It makes me want to do better, but I don't know what to do. I I feel like I'd have to hire somebody to do editing and stuff. That's going to be my next Still thing. Still a supporter while it fixes my membership. Still love the streams. Thanks, bro. Yeah, the next step is going to have to be to make you guys think the videos are good by doing that editing thing. They'll still be mediocre, but it they'll go from mediocre at best to at least mediocre. There's a possibility that they might be decent. Like That's the next thing is go from mediocre to decent. Yeah, the first Fallout game, true. Yeah, there's a new Dune game coming. That's going to be awesome. I, I would love to play that. I don't know if it's Old Spice or Scary Spice or whatever, but we'll see. Spice Girls? Not sure. The new uh, Spi uh, the new um, Dune movie, though, was awesome. And it made me want a new RTS, and boom, we, we kind of got one. Although it's more in the Stellaris 4X format. Jerry, do you know what the 4X do you know what 4X stands for? No. Does anyone in chat know what the four the four X's are? I think it stands for expand, exterminate. And then that's all I got. I got two of the four <laughs> I got two of the four X's, boys. Something like that. It's like expand, exterminate, uh X go and give it to you, excitement, and then I'm out. That's all I got. Oh, explore, yeah. Explore, exterminate, uh, X-Pac. 
triple X. <laughs> yeah, exfoliate. <laughs> yeah. Yes, very important. New member, welcome. Sir Sursler, Sursler XK, thank you for uh, the six months as a Raptor Egg. By the way, if you guys haven't already, if, you, if you've been a member over a month, uh, if you click the little dollar sign square button, like that's the super chat button, you can actually send like a free message. So if you want a shout out for your continued support, I owe that to you. If you want to uh, like ask a question without even spending a penny, but you're like you're already a member, feel free to ask like via your highlighted message. Make sure you do that. Uh, do we get more zombie survival facts? Um, all right, tell you what, every time I get a super chat or a membership, I will read, I have a book of cliches. Do you guys want me to read a cliche? I have a, a book on, I have the zombie survival book. We could read from the, the good book of zombie survival guide. Um, I could read penicillin facts again. No, we need to pick a new drug. What's another cool drug? Insulin, we could read insulin facts. I don't know. Whatever you guys think. I don't know. Whatever you guys spam the most of, I, I guess. On mobile, we can't use the free message. Thanks, YouTube. Billion dollar company, by the way. Awesome. Imagine your bank doing that, where it's like, oh, dude, on mobile, you can't see your bank account balance. Like, could you imagine that if your bank was like, dude, download our app, download our app, download our app, and then it told you nothing about your bank account? Oh, no. Dude, you, you can't take a picture of a check and have it deposited. You can't uh, you can't see your, your balance savings. No. We can tell you two random numbers from your bank account, though. Dude, can I go five minutes without complaining about YouTube? I feel like I need to just pretend that I'm happy with YouTube, so maybe Susan will tweet me out. Maybe Susan will be like, congratulations, Raptor on... You know, you know what the ultimate stub was, Jerry? I hit a million subs, and the same day, YouTube was like, oh, hey, dude, this other YouTube, oh, this m m random Minecraft YouTuber hit six million subs. Which, by the way, when you have six million subs as a Minecraft YouTuber, that's like 6,000. You know what I mean? Yeah. I kind of <laughs> felt slighted. Mostly because they reach out to me for things. Like, they ask, like they come to me and ask me questions. And it's like... I didn't want this. This was your dream, was to work with me, you two. Not the other way around. Right, I'm, I'm being whiny. Sorry, Chad. I won't do it again. Today. Uh, That's it. Every member or Super Chat, you tell us a positive thing about YouTube. Yeah, okay. We can do that. And thank you very much, Reaper uh, 12D, for the... Wow, the one year is a Raptor egg. Thank you very much. Super cool. Thank you for your support. That That means a lot to you guys. I use the free super chats for my phone all the time. Maybe it depends on the phone. Maybe it depends on the region. YouTube does a lot of this where it'll implement a new feature. And then it says, not available anywhere above or below the equator. And it's like, what? What the hell, YouTube? Here at YouTube, we're excited to announce this new thing. We'll pay you for watching our videos. Not available on the planet Earth or the Milky Way galaxy. And it's like, wow. Wow. Okay, see, now I'm being negative again. I need to be more like Jerry. I just need to be a quiet book reader. Look at him over there. Reading his book and watching his TV. I don't trust him. Oh, no. He's even got uh, decontamination doing it. <laughs> I mean, Dion. Dion Sanders over there. Hey, who used to do the Chunkies? Hey, wait a minute. Do you guys remember that soup commercial where it'd be like somebody's mom? It was like a it was like a defensive lineman or something for Chunky Soup. His mom would make him a, a soup bowl. It was him and his mom. They were in the commercial together. And it was like... Baby, I made you soup. And then he'd sit down, and he was like this big, like six foot eight dude. Like he'd be like over, he'd be like seven times too big for the table. But they'd give him like you know, it'd be like a thimble of soup, and it'd be like extra mega deluxe, ultra extra. And it's like, dude, yeah, it was Campbell's chunky. It was Michael Strahan. Mm, that sounds right. Can anybody confirm? Hold on, let me. All right, we're going down Boomer Lane, chat. You knew what you were getting into when you chose to watch this stream today. It was Reggie White. Maybe they changed. Maybe it was a few different football players. Hold on. Who would it be? D. New member. Welcome. Deion Sanders. Soup? No. Uh, Michael Strahan. Oh, my God. It was Michael Strahan. No, wait. Yeah. Wait, Mandy Moore. Oh, yeah. 2003, Michael Strahan and his mom in a commercial. <laughs> Hold on, let's just listen. 
New York giant Michael Strahan and his mom brought Luis Hernandez new Campbell's chunky honey roasted ham and potatoes. Filled up right by those hearty chunks of ham, Luis was in hog heaven. Okay, then. Oh my god, Michael Strahan didn't even have to say a word. He just showed up and smiled and handed a guy a bowl of soup, and that was it. Jerry, Jerry Indigo loves Campbell's new garbage meat and also filth trash potatoes. Jerry smiles. <laughs> Way to be navy bean soup, wouldn't it, Jerry? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, highly decorated <laughs> navy offer. <laughs> He loves navy bean soup. Jerry just smiles and gives the thumb up. Hey, Jerry, for $25,000 check, you'd be, your ass would be straight to Vegas after that. Don't even yeah. lie. <laughs> and I'd come with you, too. I'd buy, I'd buy you an all-you-could-eat buffet, Jerry. We'd go out. Well, but mostly be for me. I'd want somebody just so I didn't feel alone. <laughs> uh, can we get an AC into base? It's a little hot. Wait, can you actually get air conditioning and heater units in this game? Wow. Yeah, Raptor with sunglasses and apron, and I'll serve it to... Yeah, YouTube comedy duo Jerry Indigo and Raptor showed up to give a random guy on a New York subway a bowl of soup. <sighs> I miss when commercials were that simple, though. I, w I miss when um, corporations thought we were smart, and now it's everything's J.D. Power and Associates. It's like, you're trying to sell me a lamp. J.D. Power & Associates says that this lamp is the best. Does the lamp emit blue light, though? Uh, is it vegan light? Uh, the worst is the uh, comedy commercials where, they, where the consumer is dumb. And it's usually like the... Um, you know what it is? It's always like the cough syrup commercials. Honey, my head hurts. Ah. And then the wife, the wife whispers at the morning, he doesn't know about all new Robitussin tablets. What do you mean he doesn't know? He lives in your house, lady. <laughs> what do you mean? He, he goes into the bathroom and opens the medicine cabinet all the time. What do you do? Hide it, hide it behind the floorboards? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Why would you hide this from your husband? Just tell him, hey, babe, I uh, put the, uh, uh, the, the tablets in the thing. Nobody, nobody says any sort of brand names at home. They just say Tylenol, or whatever the regional equivalent of pop or cola is. You know what I mean? Babe, your meds are in the medicine cabinet. Huh? Oh, yeah. Like, that should be, that's a real commercial. You know, like, Tucker Hat should do a Ford commercial. I bought this truck because my daddy owned this truck, and then I bought this truck before, and I'm buying another truck. But it pisses me off because the passenger side window stopped working, but it's okay because it's built Ford tough. Ford, built Ford tough. Like, that's, that's a real commercial. That's a real commercial. I didn't want to pay $1,800 to get the window roller motor replaced on the passenger side, but thank God it wasn't the driver's side, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to go to Wendy's without opening the door. Amen, brother. Ford. Built Ford tough. Amen, brother. Like, that should sell trucks. Just be honest. Just start being honest. <laughs> Just start being honest, and we'll start buying your stuff. God. Why am I fired up today, Jerry? I'm sorry. When is the stream done? Anytime. It could be right now. Whenever you're done. Whenever you want to tap out. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's getting there. He's about one day away from going to Vegas, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. I'm just here for me. Oh, it's 12 p.m. I'm going to go out and get trees then. Also, need more chips. Amen. The whole park of whole part of marketing is lying. Well, I mean, some of it can be brand awareness and hype, honestly. Like, you know, those Snicker commercials where it's like, could have had a Snickers. Like, yeah, you could have, you could eat anything. Like, if you get a little crabby, yeah, eat some food. It doesn't have to be a Snickers, though. You know what I like is just when it's like a local carpet company, and it's like, Hi, I'm John Johnson for Johnson uh, Carpets. We've been in the area for over 35 years, bringing you the best quality carpets. Choose from, you know, I like those commercials. Because they actually, they, they actually work. Now it's like, what would, there's, a gar, there's a really annoying commercial out there for like, uh, what's that Google phone 
There's like a thing you can get where Google... It's like a Google phone app or something you can get. And it's just like, they have a song, a jingle for it. And it's like, man, I thought the, the Quiznos, I love these subs, commercial was bad, but damn, that's just atrocious. Google Fi, yeah, Go, yeah, tra Trash Fi. You know what, once you, Google accidentally sent me a bunch of free phones once. I have them around here somewhere. Google, <laughs> Google sent me a bunch of Pixel phones on accident once. I think it was meant for an employee, and they sent me like six like new Pixel phones. I gotta get those on eBay. I told them about it too, and they're concerned. I was like, "Hey, uh, Google, there could be some trade or company secrets on these phones. Do you want them back?" Oh yeah. Oh wow. Well, we'll get back to you on that. Like, whoa! Imagine if Google was the military. Hey, there's a tech. YouTuber, you guys accidentally sent a, a tactical nuclear weapon to my house. Oh yeah, dude. We'll swing by. I don't know, a couple days maybe. We don't work weekends though. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sell this on the black market. Okay, then, I guess. Wow. That's your concern about possible company trip? Like, literally, I have it at my house right now. I have Google... I possibly could have Google, like, billions of dollars of... I gotta go, chat. I'm gonna... I, I'm actually getting a call from Jeff Bezos. Hold on, Jeff? Yeah, I'm available. <laughs> oh, Twitch, you say? Huh. 50 million. No, I'm telling you guys, Jeff or the Zuck would have to show up with a pretty hefty check for me to like abandon you guys. Like that's the trouble about you guys asking me to stream on Twitch. It's like if I do Twitch, it's like, what do I do when they ask me a Twitch partnership and they're like, hey, uh, it's like Ursula from Li <laughs> from Little Mermaid when she's trying to get uh, Ariel to sign the contract. You know, poor unfortunate creator, so sad, so weak. You could have a notification bell, <laughs> but you have to sell your soul. Like, what? I just want people who like me to show up because they're told that I'm live. No! Lol. Yeah, dude, getting a YouTube partnership is like that's that Ursula song, dude. <laughs> Red, don't do it. Get out of here, Red. Don't do it. Your, your channel, Jessica, get out of here. You guys are too small. Get out of here. <laughs> and I'm fired up, Jerry. I had some chips and salsa earlier. The extra, the extra zip got me going, Jerry, you know? The extra... The capsaicin. I'm, I'm having a capsaicin overload. I'm not asking for much, just your voice. That's what happens with a sponsored stream. Which is true, because, you know, again, remember, whenever I do a sponsored stream, they are not paying me for my opinion. They are paying just for the exposure on the channel. So remember that next time I do a sponsored stream. Or video. Actually, like, for example, remember when we played uh, that Call of the Wild game? I actually was have I, I really enjoyed that alligator hunting. I want to play that more. That was a damn fun game, dude. I use energy chips, dips, and coffee. Raptor uses chip and dip. No, I have coffee, too, dude. And every once in a while, don't tell anybody. I'll have a soda. Don't tell Jerry, though. He told me not to. Do I play Fallout 4? Um, no, nah, not on this channel. Fallout's cool, though. I got no problem with Fallout. Horse poo, you put some whiskey in your coffee? Isn't that called an... I don't know if it's offensive to say that. An I-word coffee? Oh my god, is that where we are now? An I-word coffee. Hmm. Wait, they have Irish cream. Wait, what makes Irish cream? Ah, whatever. Peppy hair YouTuber. Yeah, I should probably get my hair cut short again. I, I actually saw some photos of myself when I was in Japan. And I was like, wow. I actually looked good and was happy back then. 2020 was not that bad for me, but I'll be honest, chat. 2021 was rough. Like, I don't mind spending a year indoors, but I gotta, I gotta get outside again. I gotta get back outside again. No, I want to go to Japan, bro. I want to have, I want to see my wonderful Japanese friends. I want to say itatake mas and do. I, I want to. I want to. I just want to be in that culture and just be around them and let them know that I want to learn and I want to do the same with people from around the world, except for Thurston. No, that's not true. I like Thurston. He's actually been playing a lot of Project Zomboid too. Exclamation point, Thurston in the chat. You need to come to Tennessee, lol. 
Well, Pinto's in Tennessee red, and so are you. Uh, I could I could definitely do some, for some badass barbecue. Hmm. Yeah, you're good. You're good enough, friend. I'd come see you. Jerry too. We'll go. We'll all go to Tennessee. Jerry, cancel your Vegas trip. We're going to Tennessee. No, smiley. Wait, give me the upward inflection. No, no. Come on, Jerry, do it. Or would you say no to that, Jerry? Damn it, he's too smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make barbecue where you work? I, I definitely want to do um, a dry rub. I want to have some wonderful dry rub. Oh, Jessica, I want to go to Canada, too. I want to go across that Canadian railroad. I have this dream of just, like, hanging out on a train for, like, a week and just, like, riding the rails and just eating food. But those are, like, retirement goals. Oh, those pics you shared in Japan on Instagram were great. Yeah. Yeah, I got, a lot of, I got a lot of pictures. Every time I post an Instagram photo of Japan, my Japanese friends me will message me. And they're always so nice. They'll message me in, like, English and Japanese at the same time so I can, like, learn what the Japanese words look like for Merry Christmas and stuff. They're so nice. They're so nice. It's kind of weird, though, because I don't know sometimes when I should message my, my friends from Japan. I don't know how much is too much. So every every couple weeks, I'll just be like, hi, I hope you're well. I don't know. And they'll do the same, too. Like, oh, sorry, I thought I replied. There's like a million apologies. Whatever. It's nice to have friends all over. Giveaway reminder. Yes, I will do a giveaway on the stream in about two hours. Thank you for the reminder. In two hours, folks, we're going to do a giveaway on Discord. So if you're watching now, jump on the Discord and drop some uh, drop some keys for y'all. Your brother-in-law and his wife took a train from San Francisco to Chicago after Thanksgiving. They went through the Rockies. Pictures were awesome. Oh. Yeah, see, that's the thing, is that air travel kind of ruined the whole seeing America kind of thing, because... It certainly seems nice to drive the roads, but I don't know. I'd rather I'd rather be on the rails and have someone else do the driving. But Jerry, is there somewhere I should be putting this stuff? Or are you turning it into planks? Outside. Oh, outside. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, I played Spore before. Spore is a fantastic game. Chat, you ever played Spore before? Spore was one of the first games that I remember where there was a lot of hype around and then everybody was disappointed and this was like pre... kind of pre-social media. Like everybody's dis... I mean, man, when people were mad back in the day, you knew they were real mad because like there wasn't really anywhere to show grievances. Now it's just like you wake up and... No, Raptor, be positive. Today's a great day, chat. To become a member, click attach join. No, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> I love how there's just a sack of flour. But imagine eating that. Oh, God. Uh, maybe I'll just have a brewski. I'm going to have a taste of the Rockies. Amen, brother. The game was as wide as an ocean, but shallow as a puddle. Yeah, that's a good way to put that, actually. A lot of games could be like that. Um, no Man's Sky was definitely that way, and has improved immensely. So, uh, definitely recommend No Man's Sky on the Steam sale, too. I have a list of games that I would recommend. I don't know the best way to communicate it to you guys. I, it might be best to do in a video, but... I feel like maybe next time that there's a Steam sale, maybe I should drop a couple videos before the sale, so that way everybody will like have a few recommendations on their list. I know a lot of you guys, like one in the chat, if you ever bought a game just because you saw me play it, and you made the decision based on me just playing it, that you wanted to get it. Void Train, yeah, that's a, that's a fun game. I gotta go back to that one with Bradford, though, but the uh, 
I was the the inventory was just beyond frustrating in that game. Oh, look at all the ones in chat. Cool. Yeah, don't don't just take my word for it too. I like a lot of games. So I feel like I'm not. I have a lot more patience, and I think because, like, for example, me and Jerry are older, so we went from, like, Sega Genesis and Nintendo games to where we, <laughs> like, we had to blow on the cartridge just to get the game to work, to now, like, people being mad because they didn't put, like, something into a game New member, welcome. Um, that they said they would or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, we're, we're just a little more patient. Do I play Far Cry 5? No, I played the new Far Cry 6. I enjoyed that. I thought Far Cry 6 was cool. Um, the multiplayer was annoying. I wanted to play with Alex, but it's a game that I should have just played single player because it's got that weird tethering thing that uh, State of Decay has, and I don't, I don't like that. Man, if State of Decay three comes out, Jerry, you and me are playing that. I'm gonna buy that for you, Jerry, and we're gonna play some State of Decay three. I'm buying that for you, and we're gonna play so long as it doesn't have tethering because that's annoying. But I'm sure it won't. Robert K, thank you almost for the two years, dude. Twenty one months as the Raptor Ultimate, dude. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, train manipulation limit is the worst part of No Man's Sky. Yeah, I remember I built a base underground, and then my base was just basically... <laughs> it was like a landslide covered it again. Tethering? Yeah, so in, uh, in, um, State of Decay, if you get too far, or in, um... In, uh, Far Cry 6, if you get too far from the host, it'll, like, teleport you back to them, and it's really annoying. It makes sense for, like, a mission, maybe, where, like, you know, you're, you should both be together. But... I don't know. It just makes me not want to play that game uh, multiplayer. You listen to a guy complain about how Rockstar killed Red Dead Redemption. You know who's great for uh, criticizing uh, Rockstar and such is uh, Nakey Jakey, who recently had a birthday. So happy birthday, Nakey Jakey. Makes a lot of good uh, songs, like about South Dakota and... Um, a lot of good reviews on, like, uh, The Last of Us 2 and Red Dead Redemption and stuff. A very intelligent guy. Very intelligent guy, very passionate. That's that's a YouTube creator right there, ladies and gentlemen. Have I played The Isle? Um, no, I don't think I've played The Isle, Ark, or The Forest on the channel, but I'll definitely play that soon. Maybe I'll play The Forest with Jerry or something. I know it could be played multiplayer, but maybe it'd be a better player, a single-player experience? Because, I mean, in the forest, I know you're looking for your son. And I know some of you are fans of the uh, of the forest and you want to play with me, but I don't know. Maybe for a first-time experience, it'll be better alone? No, I haven't played RimWorld, but you guys keep asking. I'm going to have to make a list of, like, five games that you guys keep asking for. And I'll have you vote on, like, what one you want me to play the most. The forest is best with multiplayer? Oh, maybe. Oh, Green Hell was amazing. I enjoyed that multiplayer. Which I guess is contradict. That's a double standard for what I just said. Because the Green Hell, like you're there looking for your girlfriend or wife? I think she's your girlfriend. But it makes sense it's just doing it one one person. But I don't know. Games, games that put in multiplayer into games that necessarily don't need it, but it's enhanced by it is really fun. It's always it's always fun to have somebody to revive you. Ask Jerry. He's always doing that. I should be like Nurse though and play the medical support role in every game. Nurse released a new video today. If we get to 300 likes, we'll go watch the new Nurse video for today. She has a wonderful video on gas cans. So anyway, in the game, it is uh, December 19th, so at any moment it could like snow in the game. So we're basically preparing for winter and we're building up to the top level of this building and uh, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, that, ooh, that's, that's bait right there in the chat. That's a, that's a bait question right there. Is Jerry building a stairway to heaven? Um... Well, apparently I can't drive and neither can Rick without plowing into stuff and dying. Am I going to play Medieval again? Um, there's a lot of Medieval games. Which one? You guys know I'll play more stuff. It's just one at a time. Rift Breaker? Great game. 
Age of Darkness Final Stand, guys. Get that game on Steam, too. Is that game on sale? I'm going to check real quick and see if Age of Darkness Final Stand. Dude, that is such a f un wildly underrated game. What? Age of Darkness is 16 bucks. That game was phenomenal. Very 2,000 very positive reviews. 2,500, actually. Get Age of Darkness Final Stand. If you love... Um, they are billions. Age of Darkness is a fantastic game. Uh, why won't your items show up when you put them on the ground? Um, I've not heard of that one. If you're having any problems with the game, I think the best resource would be to go to... If you have any problems with the game, especially if you have it on Steam, go to the community forums and type in your problem. And you might find like a, a post from the devs or a, uh, a fix from the community, that type of thing. Valheim? Yes, Valheim is a must-have. Valheim is great. Had so many good hours in that game. Uh, I just I miss my adv initial adventure with Alex and Booster and everybody who was there was so fun. That was, that was a special um, a special time in twenty. I don't honestly I don't even I don't I don't even know time anymore. I can't where we are right now honestly feels like the end of 2020. I don't know about you guys, but. 2020 really didn't affect me, but 2021 is just like... Mm. Oh, yeah. Chris Bra remembers Frenchman's Pass. Wow, dude. Some of you guys. Man, I love that. I love you long-time, like, hardcore viewers. You guys are awesome. See, now that makes me want to make more, uh, more videos. 2020 to 2021 was at least six years. Yeah. I've ever played checkers. Hell yeah, I love checkers. I like checkers a little more than chess because it's more casual and not as competitive, especially with family. And it was a good game to learn before chess because I can remember chess and Monopoly, everybody spending more time reading the damn rules, especially in the 90s because you couldn't just look things up or watch a YouTube video. Your parrot bit you, and now you're craving raw peanuts. Oh, dude, peanuts. Dude, you know what's really good? Pistachios, bro. Cashews. Oh, my God. I love all the... Uh... Oh, man, I miss... Um, this this Christmas, when I was at, with family, I... um, You know, somebody had, like, a bowl of... um, You know, mixed nuts out. And I used to hate those big... I don't know if they were Brazil nuts, but they were, like, these big... Like the size of of a uh, of a uh, like an almond, but New member. as I've gotten older, you know, like when you when you get a little older, you start to like coffee more. You like beer. You like all the bitter stuff, like Brazil nuts and stuff like that. Hated them as a kid. Hated them. Now it's like, oh damn, is that a Spanish peanut? I love that. Oh. King Chemical, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Should what should we do, Chat, to celebrate new members? We got to do something. Do you guys want me to read zombie facts? Should I go get a different book out of my... I could go get a different book. What do you guys want to do? We got to celebrate new members with something special. Throw, throw me some ideas. Macadamia? Oh, bro. My grandma used to make... Um, my grandma from Poland used to make a lot of great things. Pierogies, etc., etc. But um, she would make these cookies that had like... Uh, man, she was a great baker. I can't remember what the hell those cookies were. Oh, well. <laughs> Dad jokes. You guys want me to read uh, puns? We could read some puns. Hmm. I don't think we've ever done that before. Let's read some puns. All right, let's do fun pun day, fun day. Let's do that. List of puns. All right, anytime somebody drops the super chat or anytime somebody becomes a member, we will read a pun. Because you guys say I make dad jokes all the time, so we may as well do it. You should wear glasses while doing math. It improves division. 
That's actually really good. All right, chat, I'll give you another freebie for the super chat earlier. I saw an ad for burial plots, but that's the last thing I need. <laughs> Today's going to be a very long day, chat. It's going to be a very long day. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to read some off the top of my head. There's a few that I can actually remember. All right, click or tap join uh, to get a pun. Do I play Portal? Dude, I miss Portal too. I should go play the original Portal again. I'd probably just play that on my own though. But Portal was something special. Portal 2 is even better. Portal actually spawned a lot of those like really cool like puzzle games where it was like a 3D puzzle game. Like that one where you... It's a bunch of slide puzzles where you have to connect lines and stuff. I forget that, what the hell that one's called. Like The Witness or something. But beautiful, beautiful landscape. Uh, when does a dad joke become a dad choke? When it beco when it has children. Wow. Jerry, I'm not going out there. It's nighttime. I'm break. I'm on break. And you know what, chat? I'm going to have a chip with dip. Deal with it. Also, a uh, shout out to you Dutch viewers. Yo, Miles, thanks for the five, dude. Ran Ranbow. Ranbow. Rainbow. 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 I need mm. puns. Hmm. Yeah, old Dutch as opposed to the new one. Mm. There we go. All right, here's your pun, Miles. Hey, Jerry. Yes. I was on you. Uh, I was on eBay the other day, and I found an old, old school radio that I had to buy. It was uh, it was an old school like uh, just a classic like Zenith radio from the forties. Uh huh. And the volume knob was broken, but I just I couldn't turn it down. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. I gave away some dead batteries free of charge. <laughs> Gary, not until we get a super chat. Hold on to it. <laughs> Come on now. Don't give them away for free. Yeah, yeah. No one dances for free, Jerry. Damn it. That was a two for one. You win this round, chat. Uh, chips, salsa, and coffee. Uh, have you tried The Last Epoch? It, uh, it's on Steam right now. Quite a D fun D&D &D game. I've never gotten into D&D, &D, but I guarantee Jerry does. I guarantee it. He's too much of a nerd not to. Jerry, don't lie. Don't lie, Jerry. Have you ever been a DM? Answer the question, Jerry. Have you ever been a dungeon master? Don't lie. Yes. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it, Jerry. I knew but it. Not not for D&D. &D. Oh, 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 Jerry. PG, dear, Jerry. PG. <laughs> You're PG, dare. You're Damn it! Yeah, no. Oh, te wait, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Wait, what? They have a board game. Oh, whatever, Jerry. Yeah, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangeness. You like make your own mutant and do that one. I don't. I really don't know what to say, honestly. I, don't, I really I mean, don't. It's know. pretty cool because you got like modern weapons. Wait, you tell me Donatello's working with a, sh a sod off while he's laying down suppressing fire, while Donatello's well, like lobbing grenades. That's, that's not his weapon of choice, but you can make your own mutant. And, what would you your? Know, you can be good at with pistols or. What? Wait, what? You can make a. Wait, what, Jerry? What are you talking about? You can make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that then uses firearms to defeat a Splint... Sp yep. uh, sp wait, what? Shredder and the Foot Clan? Yep. Jerry, what the hell? What are you talking about, dude? True story. 
Turtles in a half shell, return fire. Second Amendment right. He's an awesome right. Lay down covering fire. <laughs> Wait, you tell me the turtle van's going to pull up guns blazing? Come on, <laughs> <Jay>. <laughs> you, you tell me that that Volkswagen micro bus with like a turtle shell hubcap is just going to load up and they're just going to be doing it. Like Mac 10 on loadings as they pull up to the Foot Clan's HQ. Shredder, they're using firearms. Oh, damn it. Uh, hey, Raptor, what city skylines beside the base game do you recommend for beginners? You mean mod? Or DLCs? Uh, specify your question and I will be better to answer that one there, uh, Buzzsaw. Let me know what you mean. So I can be a little more helpful to your question. Here's my shredder. <laughs> wow, Donatello, you really you really suppressed that enemy position. Thanks. Well, that that means that Master Splinter is like <laughs> is a Vietnam vet or something <laughs> at that rate. Pizza missiles. I'd be down to I'd be down to get uh hit by a pizza missile. I'm down with that. Man, we got so much beer from the from from our beer run the other day. That was hilarious. Oh, DLC cuz I don't want to spend $100 on all of them. Hmm. If I had to recommend three top city skylines uh DLCs, I would say the industry or industrial DLCs number 1. That that adds a lot of fun to the game and a lot of way to make ways to give jobs to your citizens and to make money on the side two is the mass transit dlc which is really fun for building like um new like highways and roads and um i think it comes with like different types of airplanes and blimps and stuff i'm not sure about that that might be the sunset harbor dlc but um and number three would be hmm, maybe the universities one because if you're going to give your people jobs you may as well you could give people manufacturing jobs like renewable farming and renewable logs and stuff like that but then also um giving them med like you could do med you could like set up a, a a city that specializes in like a medical university or law or stuff like that so it's a good way to like get your citizens like really give them a better life giving them more jobs more options that's kind of fun and a good way to get them around the city is with that mass transit i think those are the three that have stood out to me so far those are the ones I've enjoyed the most. Hmm. Yeah, the green the green cities one might be good. I don't know if they're all the same price though, but I'd say that if if you could get a cheap one, go for go for the really really cheap ones. Like if they're f somewhere around like five bucks. Get the five buck ones because they'll just add more stuff. Plus, remember when you get the DLCs for City Skylines, it also opens the door for more mods that use those DLCs. So. Even though you're paying 10 or 15 bucks for a mod, it's really like pennies on the dollar with the amount or for the DLC. Uh, the amount of mods that you can get is astronomical. It's it's insane. It's like City Skylines and like Euro Truck Simulator are like two of the and American Truck Simulator are two of the biggest like modded games I've ever seen. But also so is Project Zomboid, which is $10 on Steam right now. Amen, brother. Jerry's next to the door doing planking. Wow, nobody here remembers planking. There's no way. Maybe you do. Yeah, we're running out of food. We gotta do like a gro Is there a grocery store in this town, Jerry? Yeah, there are a few small ones. Wow. Oh, we gotta go on a food run. I will drop the beat then boots, cats, boots, cats, boots, cats, 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 boots, cats, and boots, cats, boots, cats, boo boo boots, cats, break it down, nah boots. <laughs> okay. Uh thank you very much, uh, Nicole, for the four ninety nine. Uh, let's read another pun. 
We're reading puns every time we get a new member, a member upgrade, or a super chat. Hey, Jerry. Yes? Did you hear about the Silk Worm race? No. It ended in a tie. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Ba, 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 ba. What, lunchbox? Wait, did we ever check and see what's in the lunchbox, bro? Oh, a cheese sandwich and an orange. Both rotten, of course. Hmm. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go raid the neighbor's house. Bye, Jerry. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. You just received a notification 65 minutes into the stream. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I played Spore before, but I haven't played that game in years. It would be go good to go back and like play, but uh. If I'm going to go back and play that on YouTube, it's got to be presented as a woah wah This game, woah wah 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 And this happened. Wait, somebody barricaded this, uh, this trailer here. Is one of our friends living next door? Oh, there's a car here? Neon might have been. Bro, nice house. Sorry we took, like, the <laughs> stuff from it. Hey, if you need anything, let us know. Nice. Mm, I think everything in this game respawns every 90 days because we and a lot of people are new and so we're just we're kind of just here for the fun experience of like looting and stuff but we'll play some more hardcore experiences in the future if chat wants to see more but if they want to see more they'll hit the like button which no one would ever do on this channel if they did we'd get up to 300 likes and that's just not gonna happen there's no way not possible not possible Jerry bum 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 Wait, are journals? Can you read those? No. Keep in mind, chat, if you find extra books and stuff that you don't need, you can always use them to burn. Especially if you, when you find a uh, antique stove. I'm just out looking for food now. I'm going to go out and find some cans of uh, food and just snack a little bit. There might be some zombies nearby. Who knows? Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Could be a gun in here, maybe. That's lovely music. They actually added like two hours and like 30 minutes of new music in the game. Do I listen to rap music? If I made a playlist chat, would that be rap music?
More like trance techno style. Nah. I do like kind of the ambient music that, um... Like this music right now that's playing. I feel like I could listen... Like, I think video games are getting better and better soundtracks, and so every once in a while it's nice to go back and... listen to that music. It's nice. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, regiments. Yeah, we'll be playing a little bit more of that later today. I, uh, after I did uh, a little video on it, I was, I didn't have enough time to play it fully, and I was like, damn, that game deserves more attention. Because this year we have Broken Arrow coming up. Next year, I should say. 2022, we have Broken Arrow. And we have, uh, Warno. And we have, uh, which, by the way, we'll probably get early access to Warno, and... Maybe I'll get some keys for giveaway chat. Hint, hint. But, uh... Yeah, we'll have Warno and, uh... Broken Arrow and Regiments to look forward to. Hey, Jerry, do we have a sledgehammer at the base? We never really cracked open these doors at the self-storage facility next door. No, we don't. We don't, okay. Well, there's an orange hunting vest in the game. Tucker hat emote, brother. Leather strips, needle. That could be useful. Green comfy couch. Jerry, do you want a green comfy couch? Yeah, that would be nice. I only have one of two, though. Uh, what's the purpose of coyote sounds in this game? Oh, it's just like kind of background noise of just like nature being around you. You can hear birds tweeting, coyotes, turkeys. You don't see any of them in the game, but I'm sure there'll be some sort of update to the game that'll eventually allow you to go like bird hunting and, you know, set up more elaborate traps and stuff. Does does the game have fish traps? Jerry, do you know? I think you can crap. I know it has traps for like ground critters, like rabbits and stuff, but. And you can fish in the game too. Ooh, a little horde. Hey guys. Ew, sticky. And I'm still looking for watches for you, Jerry. It's a little going away. Good luck present for Vegas. Best thing you can do, Chad, is get those zombies on the ground. Man, I'm attracting so many friends. Oh, does that guy have a hunting rifle? Oh, that guy might have an axe in his back. Oh, my, somebody might have an axe in their back. One of those zombies had a damn axe in his back. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Jerry, we found an axe. Yeah. Ooh, in pretty damn good condition, too. Amen, brother. We found a, a firefighter axe, Jerry. Nice. Okay. Well, that makes uh, gathering 
logs way better. Get his wallet. Chat, where, where the hell are we going to go with a wallet? Wendy's is closed. Well. An avocado. That's rotten. Hi, Killer Jam. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Well, now that we got a better axe, I guess I'll go home, grab a bite to eat, and then keep on logging, brother. Amen. Tucker hat. Tucker hat rises again. Now, zombies. Come on now. Don't be that way. Oh, my mannequin's still here. Chat, we got to get the mannequin. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go get the mannequin. There it is, yeah. Ooh, pretty lady. We'll have her work the register. Bum, 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 bum. Cruise Control, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. You are awesome. Thank you for the support. Hey, uh, Jerry. Somebody uh, tweeted me on Twitter, by the way. Uh, yes, there was an 80s RPG of TMNT that was based off the original comic. Uh, gr gritty with plenty of expansion books beyond the TMNT, and it was very popular before the television show, which ironically doomed the RPG because the potential players thought it was for kids. You, you're, playing a, you're playing a board game from the 80s, Jerry? Yeah. Uh, this symbol means that I've just taken a little uh, little damage from carrying too much stuff. I'm basically just over encumbered, so it hurts you a little bit. My health will go down like a third or so, but I'm going to set up all this stuff, clean up some bodies, and chop down some trees today, chat. Sound good? All right. Oh, Cruise Control is a new member. I should probably read a pun then. Chat, you gotta remind me every time somebody clicks or taps join, we gotta we gotta have a pun. You gotta remind me, Chad. Hey Jerry. Do you know what I used to do before I worked on you know doing YouTube videos? Try doing that completely. I used to work at the calendar factory. And they fired me for taking a day off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate it. There was a full paper pencil RPG of TMNT. That's awesome. Well, Jerry is the first person to make me aware of that. Of his nerdiness. That's fine. Jerry. Jerry's smart, though. Like Jerry, Jerry only does things that require a big brain. That's why he plays Path of Exile. Which you can watch at exclamation point Jerry in the chat. Alright, I earned some food. Oh, wait. Uh, Dr. Downrange is here, too. And he's got an axe. And a crowbar? A oh, a couple crowbars. Amen, brother. Thank you. Whoa. And he's got a couple axes. Oh, and he's got the fire. Uh, fireman's outfit on. Oh, he must have gone as a firefighter. That's awesome, bro. How many people are on today? Well, uh, by the way, if you are a member, or if you became a member, join our server. You guys are welcome to, like, Pay ten bucks for the game and then hop on the server and play with everybody else. And you can you can go to your own corner of the map and make a cabin. You can come say hi. Whatever you want to do, it's your game. Come hang out. Either, you know, team up with us or be on the other side of the map. Whatever you want to do. It's cool. Go off and be a fisherman and live your own, your best life. You do you. 
I am going to have a can of peas. And in fact, Jerry, I'm going to get a bowl for it. Does How do you know, Jerry, if heating up a certain food gives a bonus? Is there a way to tell? Just gotta know. Oh, a big brain would say that, wouldn't he, Jerry? All right, well, I'm going to make a meal, clean up some bodies, start cutting down some trees, and thank you very much, Doctor, for the uh, wonderful uh, crowbars. Appreciate it, brother. Make sure you keep stuff for you, too. Don't give us stuff just for, like, cool points. Like, we already think you're cool. Jerry already thinks you're cool. Doesn't matter what I think. You hope I had a great Christmas? I certainly did. Oh, I don't have a can opener anymore. What do I do with it? Are you putting a wall around the back side of the house, Jerry? Yes. Nice. Oh, well, now that I got a nice axe. And cut down some more trees. Hmm. I can't, like, make an empty pea stew or something? Maybe I'll just put a soup in there or something. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh make a pot of soup. Ah. No, wait, don't do that. We don't have a... Uh... Ah, whatever to hell with it. Oh, uh, oh, look, chat, we found some extra tortilla chips in storage. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh. The sounds in this game are so real. Mmm. It's like I'm eating a tortilla chip, Jerry. So real. Keeping those. Oh, you need four bowls to make bowls of soup? What, like in the microwave? I think you can do it two bowls. I think we're doing tailoring here, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I wish I knew you were live because I've been watching six hours of two of your other videos. YouTube not even in my feed. Yeah. Well, at this point, Chad, I'm going to have to just stop complaining because YouTube knows what they're doing and they just they don't care with the notification things and it makes me sad because I know you guys love the channel and so do I and I don't I don't understand I feel like I did something wrong but I don't know what Wow, Jerry's making a sunroom. Adorable. Oh, we can have potted plants out here and let the cat out. Oh. You guys want their... <laughs> Chat wants an egg fried rice mod. 
And she, <laughs> imagine that, Jerry. It's just like one kilobyte. The, the Jerry Indigo Egg Fried Rice mod. It just allows you to take <laughs> egg and rice and then just make it. it just, it's just a thing that lets you put egg and rice together into a bowl to make egg fried rice. But w the funny thing is it'll give you, like, amazing stats. Like, it'll be, like, plus 5,000. <laughs> give you, it'll give you a buff in every skill. Like, the power of egg and rice together will be so abundant that it'll actually reverse the zombie outbreak. Complain about the system can't be the reason, right? Well, complain or not, things will be the way they are. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to, in the next year, maybe I'll just try to have a positive attitude. Maybe the power of positivity will shine through to you guys. Maybe. Oh, Jerry, you're on the roof. Do we need any more wood, Jerry? Or are we are we good now? I think we're good for now. Oh, really? Okay. Um, I'll just pile the rest of the logs up at the back door and call it good. Oops, I fell. Oops, I fell. Oh no, is that you, Jerry? No! Oh, that's a zombie. Never mind. Hi there, Zoran. How you doing? Welcome back, dude. What chocolate candies do I... I, I just like a dark chocolate bar every once in a while. Like a lint or something like that. Every once in a while, every holiday or two, I'll... Uh, Get myself a nice chocolate bar and have it with a coffee in the morning. I'm not really into, like, um, just bottomless calories anymore of, like, um, you know, like Starburst or um, Skittles and things like that. I, I prefer the chocolate stuff. Nice to see you too, Zoran. Welcome. Dark chocolate, you love them too? Yeah, it's nice because, you know, sometimes you're in the mood to break it up and have maybe two, maybe one, you know. You know, I actually recently had like, I think it was 90% dark chocolate or something. Or no, it was 85. It was 85% dark and I was like, ooh, that's too much. Then after I ate it, it was like, oh, it was actually good. I enjoyed the uh, dark chocolate. That's fine. Well, what I think I'll do is try to use the axe more and get my axe skills up then. Would be a good idea to be proficient more than one weapon. Yeah, apparently the uh, alarms like that don't really trigger the zombies too much. It's also a good way to wake yourself up too. You can wear a watch and um, when you sleep in single player, it's a good way to make sure you don't sleep in. What's the map called? Well, this is just uh, rural Kentucky in 1993. This is the base map of the game. There are some odds, though. Okay, place item. There we go. 
All right, let's go out and... Uh, all right, so I guess we're done with wood for a while, so we don't need wood. So I will just... Uh, what is it? 10 a.m.? Um, where are we now? And if we go to the storage lockers, we need a sledgehammer. Oh, I'll start cleaning up some bodies again. All right. It's important to do this so you don't get sick. You gotta pile up the bodies and light them on fire, brother. Uh, looks like uh, maybe we. Uh, I guess we'll put them where we used to. Yeah, we'll put them in the same pile. Uh, no, we didn't. We weren't able to find a sledgehammer here at this warehouse. We got some back at our main base. We definitely know where to find them. They're just not close. Oh, we're in uh, Maldro right now. But we have a base in the eastern side of West Point as well. We haven't been there in a while, though. But it's fun. In this game, it's actually really fun to make several uh, outposts or whatnot because you don't want to stay in the same area for too long. Mostly because, like, it's also fun to, like, clear an area, fortify it, and then move on, and then go between the areas with a vehicle. Like, if you get a trailer, then you go to the each of the outposts and take the best stuff and then, like, make a main base. Or fortify your main base even more. Oh, this won't take too long. Almost done. Hi, nurse. Are we planning on making a base in every town? Um, yeah, it seems like it'd be a lot of fun to do that. We've, um, you know, we were at our American Tire base that you'd seen for a while, and, you know, eventually it gets boring, so. We'll uh, probably move on to, like, um, Rosewood and make a base there, and then get ready to clear out the prison, and then maybe make one closer to the mall south of Louisville. You guys have questions about the game, too, by the way. Exclamation point nurse. Subscribe to nurse. Good video today on the uh, gas cans. That was cool. Oh, and the rain one yesterday about the, um, or the day before, on, uh, rainwater. Or the rain catchers at the Louisville checkpoint. Jerry's making an elevated road, wow. Oh, good. Body cleanup is complete. Oh, a food truck would be amazing in this game. That'd be cool if you could find, like, a food truck or an ice cream truck and store a bunch of food in the freezer on board and then, like, have a mobile fridge and throw, like, a... Well, actually, I mean, you, you would already have a stove. That'd be amazing. I'm sure there's mods for it. If it's... If it's an idea, there's probably already a mod for it. Yeah, the uh, game... The, the maps are static, by the way. Oh, Nurse now has the verified check mark for the 100,000. Yeah! Good for you. Good for you. All right, we got a wonderful pile of bodies ready to go. We cleaned up our area a bit. Yeah, there's always something to learn in Project Zomboy, that's for sure. It is it is fun to like teach people stuff too cuz it's it's not even a question about like not knowing how to do it, but that you may have not even known it was possible in the game like when I found out from Bradford that the power goes out in this game and that you can bring a, you can bring like a, uh, a generator to the gas station in order to turn the pumps back on, that's like, whoa, that's, that's cool. Like you can you can pretty much power anything with the game. You just need fuel for the generator. It's really cool that like you you don't know what would happen. You didn't you didn't think the game would be this detailed or something. It's cool. You can go fishing. 
Yeah, go watch uh, Nurses Surviving the First Week in Project Zomboid. It's a, it's a good way of like sneaking and prioritizing escape routes and um, looking what to prioritize when you're like your character's basically naked when they begin. Like you got some clothes on, but you need a way to like carry stuff around. Like right now our character has a big old military backpack that we got, but you ain't going to find that for a long time in this game unless you're mega lucky. Satchels are a good start. Any sort of backpack, you know. Can you tear down fences for planks? Good question. Not sure. Yeah, that's true. Like, not needing to sleep in the, in the game makes uh, vanilla mu multiplayer a little OP. But <clears throat> multiplayer is a really good way to... Um, learn from everybody else how to build it. Like, if everybody gets their other skills, you can go as, like, a construction worker and a friend can be an electrician, and then you learn, like, what the electrician can do and what the carpenter can do and work together. But, you know, if you want the ultimate experience, just, like... Uh, single player is, like, the ultimate challenge, but... Or go play, go play a CDDA if you have six seconds to spare and you can go get a great, great run of uh, Project Zomboid until you die. Yeah, mods for solar power. Yep. Yeah, that that's what's nice is this game. This game has been around for so long that there's like must-have mods, and right now we're just doing vanilla because it's you know build 41. So we want to um, differentiate the difference between build 40 and 41 without mods, so people know what's truly new. But it is nice to see that more people than ever are playing Project Zomboid. I think they. Uh, have three times as many, or probably four or five people, five times as many people playing as ever before. Which is great. Game has vehicles now, wonderful base building, more survival options, different classes. Oh, I'm not sure when Rick will come back. Could be any time. Who knows? Who knows? Multiplayer brought you and your friends back into playing it. Yeah, I would recommend like doing a do a solo and do a multiplayer and have a couple different multiplayer servers with different characters and maybe <laughs> Pinto Bless in the chat. Maybe um you know, maybe you have one where it's more um more of a serious like role-playing playthrough and then maybe just have one where it's like a fun little shoot zombies with a billion different guns mod server like it's really fun like if you want to go to the prison or the uh, the mall get some armored vehicles ready to roll start having a good time you can do that but sneaking is like key all the time Except for right now, because we're pretty clear. Alright, bodies are piled up. Things are looking cleaner. Nice. Starting to run low on water. Did, did we get that uh, stove yet, Jerry? Well, I fell and died. What? <laughs> what happened? Forgot you can't stand on boxes. Where are you? Jerry, where are you? Oh boy. I want to turn. Huh. I'll be back. Well, that's an F. Oh my god. <laughs> this appears to be blood. Oh no. I want to read a pun. Chat, can we get a new pun? We need to get a new member so we can read some more puns. 
Well, that's a body right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can build a rain collector if you run out of water. Or you can just put pots and pans out in the, uh, out in the street. It works the same. Didn't Rick turn him into a pickle? Yeah. Pickle Rick, yo. Well, there you go. Jerry is a pretty good player, but, you know, oops. You know, I honestly think I've been killed more by, like, at this point, more uh, game stuff in multiplayer. Them. Like game game related deaths of like lag or some weird mechanic or something than zombies, but Gitmo surprise is now a raptor egg. Gitmo, thanks for smashing that join button. We have ourselves a new pun. Chat, do you know what the best thing about Switzerland is? I'm not sure, but I know the flag is a big plus. New member. A new member? What? We're gonna have to read another pun. Mellow Vibes, thanks for becoming a Raptor Plus member. Get it? Plus? Hey, Jerry. Yes. I was, um, I was trying to learn to drive a stick shift, but I couldn't find a manual to teach me. Oh. Oh my. Oh yes. Alright, it's 2.50pm. Oh, nurse, if you're in the chat, Jerry died. Can you, like, give him a band-aid? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can work any medical magic, but uh, we need you. Scalpel. Uh, can we get 500 cc's of G fuel? The stat. Well, actually, now that we're at base, let's watch more of Nurse's channel. Let's watch uh, a video. Chat's earned one. Again, exclamation point Nurse, if you want to watch Nurse's channel, we'll watch a video on the uh, rain catchers. Very informative, very good, and very short. Which makes me want to watch them like a couple times because they're quite funny. Or very informative, one of the two. Wow, she made a, a video a day ago. Damn, she is just knocking it out of the park. Did Nurse is ridiculous. She's going to be promoted to... Um, uh, the Nurse of n Nurses. And this will give me a chance to eat chips for 30 seconds. That's really the secret reason. Thank you, Nurse, for the break. Here we go. Exclamation point, Nurse, and chat. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Just, wow, she's on, her, she's on the high-speed highway to 200,000 subs, baby. That's awesome. Did you know that in Project Zomboid, metal drums have the highest capacity for collecting and storing water in the game? A single metal drum can hold 800 units of water, which is twice as much as the wooden rain collector barrels. These metal drums, unlike these rain collectors, have a much larger capacity and are also much easier to obtain since they do not require any skills. You can also light the logs on fire and make charcoal. Six metal drums can be found in the encampments near the military blockade outside Louisville. They are the same weight as a television and can be picked up and moved to your home base. Thank you, nurse. Okay. Such a crazy good channel. She is, um... Uh, that's nice to see. New and upcoming channels just blowing up. Just by being passionate about a game. That's awesome. That's, that's cool. I like seeing it. I want to see it more. How do you purify tainted water with bleach? No, no, you want to boil it. Get yourself a stove and, uh... Just go ahead and like get a big old pot and start boiling it. Then you can store it in um, the best thing to do. The most common thing that we found is these water coolers, but you can store it in like water bottles or whatever. 
But an easy way to make uh, to get water too is if you set up your base near a source of water. You could go fill up a bunch of like pots and things like that and bring the water back and then just boil it. Building near water is good, but sometimes it's like away from your base. Or where you'd want to build a base. You got your unemployed guy to level 5 mechanics now? Ooh. Yeah, it's a good... Uh, picking the unemployed option is a good way to um, create kind of more of a custom character from scratch. It's a better option. Uh, it's one of the better options for that. Uh, any tips for solo play? Yeah, just don't die. That's all you gotta do. Very easy. Uh, crouch. Always, always be crouching. Always, always, always be crouching. Yeah, you can find wells in the game. They're rare, though. I've never seen one, so... I guess that's just hearsay. Cheers. Yeah, if you're in a hurry in this game, then walk. There really should be no reason to run. Unless you're in a fight with zombies. Like, if the zombies are already coming for you, then you can, then you can start booking it. Like, if you're in a building, and... Uh, you know the horde is coming and you gotta get the hell out of there. Just bail. Yeah, aside from dying, this game's real easy. Like, this is basically Fisher Price My First Zombie Apocalypse. Comes with everything you see here. Mannequin not included. No, that's not true. It's included. I would like to start making some videos like Nurse about Project Zomboid to, like, raise awareness of the game and to make some fun little quick and easy tutorials for myself i think the hardest i think the the types of videos nurse makes are, are kind of difficult because it's like you want you could talk forever and ever and ever about project zomboid tips but to to like boil it down to a boolean cube of information is really hard to do like um yeah every once in a while i should make a couple minute comedy videos but like you know making a video on like uh what to do if you get bit to like what your options are to hasten the process of like drinking bleach or sleeping pills with alcohol or jumping off from a br I like you could do a video of like a hundred ways to die on Project Zomboid other than being bit. Like there's many other ways to die than just like by zombie. Like you could plow your car into a, a wall at high speed, fire, you know, you burn your house down <laughs> and like die in the flames. There's many ways to die other than other than just zombie. It jumping onto crates and then fall right through all of oh yeah that well but that no one would ever do that dude that's so like dude that is so like day one easy i don't i don't know if i've ever seen anybody <laughs> die from climbing onto a crate i mean that would be impossible like if i was playing with somebody jerry who climbed onto the side of a crate and then died because of that i like that's 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 no longer that's like what we call former friend territory you know what i mean anyway where are you jerry nah i was just uh on the run. Oh, you're you're out getting uh, uh get supplies and stuff. Oh, by the way, what's up with all the blood inside the uh, warehouse near the crates? Not sure. Oh, that's weird. Somebody must have gotten a paper cut. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thank goodness for uh penicillin. <laughs> or splinter. Oh, that's what you need. We need a penicillin mod for nur uh for nurse to carry around and just give us penicillin booster shots all the time that just give us like nerd rage powers. Of just like being able to swing a crowbar and take down like 40 zombies with the swing. Like Fusroda. Fusroda! I hope nothing important happens while I go watch First Week in Project Zomboid by Nurse. No. Well, so since we're playing this game in live stream and since it's, you know, like we, we still, it's still not a good idea to go out at night because even with cat eyes perk on and stuff, it's harder to see. And so it's like you increase your risk. So, like, though it might be boring to stay in your base at nighttime, it's like, I don't know, if there was a real zombie apocalypse. I mean, you guys saw what we, or you, you remember what we read about yesterday in the zombie survival guide. You don't move, you only move the three hours after dawn and the three hours before dusk. And then you hunker down during the day and the night. Mostly because of, like, well, at least that's in the desert for heat and stuff. But 
probably not a bad idea for uh you know daytime survival too to like not move during the day unless you have to and not to move during night unless you have to is there a junkyard for cars near your base i know there's junkyards in the game but you can find cars literally anywhere like every parking lot will randomly have cars and vans and stuff and you can try to go hotwire them or find the keys or well okay you well you gotta roll three d20s first you need a car then you need to have a working car then you need to have a working car with the keys in it and then you need to have a working car with keys in it and fuel and then you're good so it's, i guess it's four d20s whoa okay four d20s is what you need But it happens. It's pretty easy to find a car. It's unlikely, but it's not impossible. Yeah, at this point, our base is kind of like Road Warrior. <laughs> like we've got all these vehicles around our base, surrounding it. You trying, you trying to stop by to say hi? Oh, like in-game? Oh, yes. Remember, if, you, if you're a member, you guys haven't smacked join yet. Smack that join button. Jump on our server. And or jump in our members section. We got, dude, we got the greatest community on YouTube. We got some wonderful people here. I'd even bring Nurse into the family. Like, we got, you know, we got wonderful people we like to play with and record with. And Nurse jumped in for a hilarious SUV excursion in the uh, secret military base. And it's just been awesome. So, everybody's welcome to uh, join us and, and be a part of the fun and promote the game. And try to promote inclusivity and try to get more people interested in the game or our community, you know good stuff the joy of gaming can you store gas in barrels no not unless with the mod what's the new plan jerry i mean get my electrical back up to at least level two and then we're gonna get an oven Three key giveaways in the Discord in one hour. Three key giveaways in the Discord in one hour. Uh, these are VHS tapes. If you find VHS tapes, you can put them into a more modern TV. And then... Uh, you can watch them so long as you have power provided from a generator. Uh, member tiers are... Click the join button, you'll see all the member tiers. Alright, we're skilling up, boys. Yeah! Where can you download Project Zomboid? Uh, Steam. Steam is a pretty popular platform to download pretty much every game ever. And it's on sale for $10. Bro, if you've gone out for a McDonald's meal in the last month, you can get yourself Project Zomboid for the rest of your life, dude. It's a great game. This game is ridiculously fun. Well, oftentimes there's a lot of boredom followed by extreme action. But once you built a base, or once you've like entered a new town and want to set up an outpost and stuff, it gets really fun of organizing, collecting, securing. It's fun. Oh my god. I'm getting my farming up now. Amen, brother!
has a huge increase in power value between so you've got a lot of different moving parts and you can move them all around. But you also know what the most you are events. Damn, Jerry, we're going to end the stream with you getting a doctorate in everything. <laughs> Jerry, what'd you go to school for? Everything. Oh. So the reason that we're doing this, Jerry's reading a book and watching TV so that we can get XP boosts to all these different skills. And these are all pretty important. Not, not all of them are really, really important, but like some of them are really good, like... For building a base, you want like carpentry and metalworking, maybe even electrical. For maintaining your weapons, you want like, uh, or weapons and armor, you want like uh, metalworking and or mechanics and tailoring, or mechanics for a vehicle too. They're all important, but you know. Jerry syndrome is usually getting a brain that grows to such extra large brain emote in chat to where it actually makes you top heavy and then you fall off of crates. That's what happened is Jerry's head was just, it was just too big. <laughs> it's like Humpty Dumpty. Jerry Berry sat on a crate. Jerry Berry fell and was like, oh, great. But Jerry Berry came back to the base. <laughs> all the King's books and all the VHSs made Jerry a big brain again. Do I listen to Post Malone? Uh, I listen to Pre and Present, but not not Post. You, you, I convince you to give it a try. I mean, you know, I just want you guys to enjoy games like I do. That's all part of my evil plan is to get you guys to enjoy games. But keep make sure it's in your budget. You know, ten bucks could be a lot for some people. Could be nothing for others. You know. But you should all feel welcome to join the Discord for free with the links in the description for free. So that way you can get a free giveaway on the free Discord for free. If you like free games, that is. Am I enjoying Project Zomboid? Still, yeah. Like, even though oftentimes we're kind of sitting around doing nothing, that is part of kind of building a base is to, like, actually be in the base. And to manage supplies and all that stuff, so. But... At a certain point, something funny might happen, chat. I'm not guaranteeing that, because that would be a lie. But there might be something happening funny in today's stream. Who knows? Oh, apparently I have some logs here. Mmm, potato. Now we haven't really been attacked by mass zombies, usually because we're smart enough to clear out an area before we really build a big base. It's a good idea to try to clear an area out before you claim it as a base, because otherwise you're going to have a, a lot of friends visit you. Oh, why can't I walk through? So once we get the stove chat, then we're going to start using that to boil water. Then we can start using this base as kind of a more of a... This base will kind of be like a... Well, we'll just build a base in every city, I think. It would be a lot of fun. That way we'd be able to explore every city. We'd be able to, like, kind of claim and conquer it. And then eventually work our way towards Louisville. Which is like... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, wow. Yeah, we'll play whatever we have on our schedule. So make sure you, everybody watching, make sure you read that description in its entirety. I know there's a lot of text down there, but we got a lot of, a lot of FAQs. A lot of frequently asked questions, so make sure you check it out. No, the map of this game is gargantuan. Like, it'll take you 20 to 30 minutes to drive across the map in a car. Like, it's pretty crazy. Or even longer, depending on, like, if you go through towns and there's, like, if they're zombie-filled, you gotta, like, be really careful how you drive. 
Obviously ramming into a bunch of zombies repeatedly ain't going to be good for your car. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we have a duffel bag here still, too. Oh, Jerry, you still have your machete. Where'd you find that? On a zombie? Yeah. Aw, lucky. Alright, we're gonna keep getting our skills up till morning. You and your friends started playing this? It's the funniest game ever. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, man. Thank you for being here. Yeah, just standing next to the TV, you're actually, like, learning stuff. I have superstition. Like, I would read a book like Jerry, but I feel like too big of a brain, too fast is too evil. It's like in that Draco movie. Where they were gonna, they offered to teach the dragon. Do I play games on PS4? There are PS4 videos on the channel. Am I a fan of horror? Yeah, horror games and horror movies are fun. It's amazing. It's like Ashley and Tan and a few others in the chat could just be like, you guys have to be like my PR. You guys have to like speak for me. Like you guys will be my pref press conferences people. Chat will come in and it'll be like, does he like potatoes? Yes. Yes, he, he enjoys potatoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can we have a, bo a bottle water emote in the chat? Yes. Yes, Chad has a bottle water emote. Wow. Pop. Hey, you guys read, are you guys reading the... Re read the uh, green text that pops up from time to time. That's nice. Like, in the last year, we've just gotten some wonderful people in our community. Like, Jer don't tell Jerry, but Jerry's a part of that. Tan, Indrid, Ashley, Rick, Eddie James. Everybody, you guys are awesome. Raptor likes food, plain and simple. It's true. LOL, sorry, half busy. Oh, Andrew, you're, you're busy? Oh. Hmm. Okay, then, well. We're sorry to bother you during today's stream. <laughs> Is there a food I don't like? Um, I guess it just depends on mood. Oh, 22 hours ago, Nakey Jakey put up a new video on speedrunning? Bro. Oh, I gotta go watch that. Wow. Nakey Jakey is fantastic, man. Wow. 
Ooh, there's some drama going on in the speed. Oh, well, when, it, when is it not going? Okay, never mind. Uh, dear God, the guilt. Oh, Indrid, stop. You know you and uh, Jessica and everybody are invited to games all the time. Well, you know that. You got your blue eye. A blue eye is putting up with the most amount of my crap. That's what that, <laughs> that's what that means. Although I still like how uh, Tan has more hours watching the stream than apparently I have being in my streams. That's hilarious. There's always drama with the speedrunning. Yeah, the little Minecraft kids are all like, uh, like high school level stuff. Bro, this guy ran this thing faster than you. Are you going to top him? No. He's a bad person. Me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of you watch when you sleep. A lot of you fall asleep to the streams. Chat's sleeping right now. If you're not asleep, smash like. Oh wow, we're down to zero. We're we're down to negative five likes now. Wow. Yeah, we're just we're just here next to the TV so we can learn some skills. Your voice is soothing. What can I say? I want to have Jerry read green, green eggs and ham. <laughs> Let's have Jerry read green eggs and ham. Chad, if we get... Oh, I wonder if there'll be a copyright issue with that. Oh, so dumb. Wow, the fact that, that in 2021 I have to ask if it's going to be a copyright issue to read green eggs and ham on a live stream about a zombie game is... It's, a tell, it's telling of the times, isn't it, chat? Oh, well. I can always read new puns if we get a super chat or a new member. Not hinting at anything, chat, but it would be cool. So it would be super awesome if that was to happen right now. Uh, you see how long how long we've watched your streams? Suspicious? Well, I can see how long some people have been a member. Or actually, yeah, there is a there is a Streamlabs plugin that shows how long you guys have been watching the streams. But I don't care. It's not like I don't. It doesn't hurt my feelings if you guys prefer another channel, and I'm just like, if I'm like your channel number seven that you tune into on occasion, that doesn't hurt my feelings. Thank you for watching. Like, what am I gonna do? Be mad? Copyright issue? How the hell can that be a copyright issue, dude? It is 2021. Do you understand? Like the. The Dr. Seuss estate would come after my ass like Mickey Mouse. I have a feeling like libraries are going to be illegal because they do like public book readings for kids. A lovely librarian sits down, a bunch of kids are sitting around and they read G Green Eggs and Ham and a Disney SWAT team has to rappel through the, the sky <laughs> through the, the skylights and take everybody out because God forbid a, a copyright is violated. Like whatever. Nope. Gunshot. That must have been Mickey. Wow. Wow. Might be coming this way. Alright, I'll go out and look. I was trying to get my skills up, Jerry. I just wanted to be like you. Well, that was that was a player, because that was three shots. Gunshot, one shot, everybody gunshot. <laughs> oh, let's look out for zombies. Oh, there's more there's more bodies? Man, I just cleaned all this up. Damn kids. <laughs> Alright. Drop off the corpses. Sorry, not sorry. That was you? Yep. Oh, because you lured a bunch back. Okay. Ah, uh, that's fine. Raptor, can you say my name on stream? It would mean a lot. I could read the lyrics to TLC's Say My Name. But we'd have to get a new member for that to happen. I'm sorry, chat, but those are the rules. You 
You sure you won't get DMCA'd for TLC? Yeah, I, dude, I don't even know. Yo, M750, thanks for the five, dude. Raptor, any big plans for 2022? Also, P.O. Box soon? Uh, yeah. I, sh I should get a P.O. Box. I'll look into that uh, in January, I suppose. I'll go down to the post office and see what I can do, and I'll get you guys an address. I'll drop it in the Discord. And big plans for 2022? I mean, there's some big games coming up that I'm excited for, but they'll be, you know, end of quarter one, quarter two, or quarter four. And then big personal plans? Nah. I don't... Honestly, if the last two years taught me anything, it's, um, you know, if I plan a nice trip to Japan or something, it's just, something's just going to happen. If I do anything, it's probably going to be domestic United States, and uh, I just need a nap, chat. that's all, okay? Need a little, little, little nap time. But that does mean I should read a pun now, so let's read a pun. Napoleon Bonaparte may have not designed his coat, but he certainly had a hand in it. That's a good one. I mean, I don't know. I like if I get a PO box, are you guys gonna really send like I hope you guys send cool stuff because I'd love to do a an unboxing video. But it might be better for the live stream, I don't know. I think just streaming is more honest and transparent. Videos are like Whoa! Jerry sent a Jerry sent a pop top of a Mountain Dew can. Whoa! Oh, and he sent some fishing string and even more. Oh, he, Jerry said I could make my own necklace. Wow, thanks, Jerry. Pog. And he sent a tab. It's not a bill, chat. It's an actual <laughs> drink. That's the joke. Snacks from around the world? Oh, that'd be good. Okay, see, that'd be good. Oh, I feel like if I do a P.O. box, is it going to be big enough? Because I assume a million things will come the first couple months, and then after that, everyone, including me, will forget about it. And then I'll get a call from the post office. Like, uh, your dead donkey is here. Are you going to pick up your corpse for your dead donkey? And it's like, no. Yes, Jerry will send a sample of his egg fried rice, a sampler pack. It'll be like next day aired. <laughs> An emergency, like what they ship or organs in, you know? It'll be couriered. Literally to my, like via helicopter. A pallet of ramen. We have all these ideas, chat, but a lot of them require me to like sit up and like go places and I don't know. I could maybe do one of two. Raptor, does your... what? Adrian and Jordan, are you, like, picking questions out of a book? Like, you've been just knocking it out of the park with, like, random questions. It's good, dude. I'm, gl I'm glad the questions are coming in. Because they're not... They're not part of our frequently asked question ones. Like... Every day, the stream usually starts, and it's usually the same FAQs, and I try not to, uh, um, I try not to get frustrated by, by that, because I'm just like, oh, everybody new is new here, just be nice. It's like, okay, okay myself, which is fair. Maybe we should go over the FAQs, let's see. What game is this? Have you played a certain game? You should play a certain game. Is this on Xbox? How much is this game? Why are you wearing sunglasses? What's your favorite X, uh, What's your favorite fill in the blank? How long is the stream? When are you playing game name? Have you ever played game name? How often do you stream? Do you know X YouTuber? What did I miss? Does he read chat? Actually, the last two are quite uncommon now. Sorry I asked. No, you're fine. I'm complimenting you for like asking new questions. I appreciate that.
Can you burn the bodies? Yep. Yep, you can uh, throw some uh, matches on them and get rid of them. Better to do it when there's a bigger pile, though. Just like peanut butter, fire spreads. Thank you, chat. Ooh, what is my favorite zombie movie and show and or why? Well, I'm actually quite I'm quite interested in that new Last of Us series that's coming to Netflix. I hope that doesn't suck. That'd be cool. We'll see. Hopefully it ends up like how The Witcher did, which was pretty cool. What system is this available for? PC, right now. You'd rather have Stanley Kubrick design direct a movie about your life or Michael Bay? Hmm. Who directed uh, Wolf of Wall Street? Scorsese? Maybe. Now yeah, we'll have to like do some funny things in there. We'll have to do some, um, you know, funny things that didn't happen at all to make it more interesting. Like me and Jerry getting in a high speed chase with the police or something. We'll figure it out. We'll make it interesting, more marketable to the kiddies. And more importantly, the Chinese market, because that's where the real money is. So the names and the likeness and the everything about the characters will have to be changed. We'll just change everything to... To, you know, it's all about money, so we'll, everything will just have to be changed. How did Jerry find me? Uh, Anno 1800, apparently. Have I met Jerry in person? No, not yet. Maybe someday if if it happens, I guess. Do I like hot sauce? Uh, yes and no. Like on certain, I like I, I, on occasion I like having salsa or putting sriracha on eggs, but sometimes I just want salt and pepper. You know, it just depends on what I'm feeling like. Alright, it's 4 a.m. It's about time to go out on a mission again. Have I seen Jerry on webcam yet? No, but I know what he looks like. It's not a secret. At least not on the Discord. Well, there's a lot of questions about you, Jerry. Anything else I can answer? Uh, I'll be Jerry's representative for today if you guys have any questions about Mr. Indigo and or his next upcoming book. Which is titled, Click or Tap Join to Become a Member Today, The Jerry Story. <laughs> it's going to be on Lifetime. <sighs> oh, uh, Jerry, do you have the um, skill now to go get a, um, a stove? Yep. Alright, are you in a car? Should we go? The adventure begins! Let's go. Can you use the truck? The blue one? I think so. Why is it broken? Well, I know there's some down in the trailer park. Well, I don't want to carry the stove back here, even if it's across the street. Uh, what is Jerry's favorite dipping sauce? I guess it depends on what you're dipping. We talk about nuggets. We talk about sushi. We talk about um, sushimi. What else do you dip? Fries? Yes. Yeah. Amen, brother. Fries. Now yeah, we're getting into that hot trucking action. Um, There's a green one there. Oh wow, you want a specific color? Oh, we got a white one here. More modern uh, stainless steel. Wow, that's fancy, bro. I think we should take this one. You like that one? 
Looks like a General Electric. It's not one of those dual stoves like Jessica B has, is it? Well, this one requires level 3. What? Alright, back to the house. Unless you want the crappier one. Nah, I, I can get level 3 semi quickly. Okay. Lol, Keck W emote. That nicer oven could be more uh, energy efficient too, which means it'll use less fuel. Who's that laughing in the background? It's big fans of the stream. <laughs> They're just watching right now. What was better, super soakers or nerf fights? Bro, both. Depends on what you're feeling that day. Nerf would kind of got annoying though, because if you if you ever had the nerf nerfs with the suction cup on the end, it was just like gone within three days. But I remember one of my cousins had like a nerf, like tennis ball launcher, which had like the like the six barrel like drum magazine underneath and you were able to like fire off like six or seven or eight nerf tennis balls it was sweet yes this stream is recorded in front of a live studio audience of all of Jerry's family and friends <laughs> that's cool they're fans at least Jerry's you know not doing anything bad like going to Vegas and breaking even at the blackjack tables you know that's why he's going to uh, some, some other town near Vegas. It's fine. Jerry will win big. He'll come back. He'll be able to get a bunch of food delivered. He's gonna, dude. He's gonna have so much Wendy's. We used to make potato guns. Those were fun. Oh, I remember making those too. They were very pog. All right, we're up in our skills again, boys. Bum, bum, bum. Chad, if you like, um, if you like Path of Exile, make sure you subscribe to Jerry. He might play it once. Exclamation point, Jerry. Would I have a chat meetup event or something? I would definitely do that. It would have to be at something gaming related where we could all go to like a big convention. Because honestly, I'm boring and awkward in real life. So, unless we're going out to eat, I, I don't know. We'd have to do something very specific. It would be cool to do a, you know, convention. But good luck with that happening anytime soon. Oh. Jerry disappeared? Jerry, where'd you go? Did you, did you disconnect from the server? Jerry? No. Did you return to your this home is, planet? This is how it works on multiplayer. What works? You ascended and became how a deity? Uh, Rewatch videos. Oh. Cheater, Jerry. Do I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain? I do. Very romantic. Actually, no. The most I've ever been rained on is probably in Japan, and that was just, like, weird. Now you want me to rent out a whole Wendy's? Good idea.
Look oh my god, mom made pizza rolls! Yeah, pizza rolls. And look at this. Now I can see who's coming. I can see all the way across. Well, that's cool. Oh, we can see a long distance. Except don't get the bacon pizza rolls. That was a mistake. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I will say, though, I want to make a nice um, baked potato. Ooh, twice, tw uh, twice baked potato would be good, too. I like a loaded baked potato, though, with, like, chives and... Uh, you know, your sour cream and maybe a little cheese in there and some little, little bit of bacon. Don't get the... Bacon bits are cool, you know. They're not but actually not actually made of real bacon at all, too. But uh, yeah, if you want to get a like maybe a couple strips of bacon to really finely chop that up and sprinkle that on there. Oh, like an, like an adult sundae. Like a banana split. But with... But with a potato. Oh, your actions have not gone unnoticed. The people of the chat appreciate your hard work and dedication to the mission. Thank you for the daily streams. Yeah, it's um, the best thing in the world is when we can stream for a very, very long time and, and hundreds and hundreds of people show up. Hopefully we can get into thousands, but YouTube's got a lot of aggressive uh, competition and very low attention spans for most people. Probably not you folks. A lot of you guys are probably a little older, as what my analytics says, but... I mean, I'm, I'm now starting to post videos on my channel where literally zero seconds into the video, I'm like on the splash screen of the game and the game's name is like noticeable in the upper left corner and I'll say, hey guys, welcome to, and then say the name of the game. And then people will just skip to the middle and then ask what the game is and then leave and not, like they, they expect someone else to watch the video. We're now to the point where we're door dashing videos where it's like, oh dude, I don't have time to watch this 15 minute video. Uh, just go ahead and give me all the details in the video. So, could someone else watch this for me and give me all the details? Appreciate it, thanks. Like, what the f- What? It used to be fun to watch videos. What happened? Why is everything about shorts now? Because YouTube finds more money in that. They realize that TikTok is a multi-billion dollar industry and it's easier for them to... If they give people a platform to re-upload TikToks to, YouTube can make money off of TikTok's platform and people who upload it there by just r using it as a recycling center to then take 30% of all those funds or more. If people use copyrighted music, then it's between YouTube and the uh, copyright holder. That's the way it works, kids. There we go. Okay. Are you in the truck? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's not the attention span thing is not anybody's fault. That's by design. That's what these kids are exposed to and there's a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out, so if they don't if they're not watching seven screens and fourteen hundred shorts a day, then they miss out on the latest memes. You know. It's life's not about enjoying or being good at one, two, or three things anymore. It's about plowing into a tree and blowing out your uh, driver's side window and also your windshield. I can hear you trying to hold that laughing, Jerry. <laughs> You're trying very hard to not laugh right now. Wear your seatbelt, kids. And give me your keys, Jerry. <laughs> What is up with you, Jerry? <laughs> Why can't... What's going on? It's over here, I think. Have I ever been copyright struck before? Uh, well, recently I played uh, Farming Simulator 22, a game about putting seeds into the earth soil and then adding water to that and other nutrients in order to grow food. And YouTube marked that as not advertiser friendly. 
So, as you would obviously think to yourself, oh, that must be a system mistake. I'll ask for that to be manually reviewed by a person. Hi, YouTube here. Uh, we've determined that this video is just too controversial and edgy. We can't allow advertisers to advertise on this. Your video is set to limited ads. So I go to my YouTube rep and I'm like, hey, could you... Now, here's what YouTube won't do, by the way. Now, if I ask a specific question of YouTube and I say to myself, well... But could you guys timestamp exactly what I said? They, they won't do that. It's it's like being pulled over by the police for speeding, but they won't. Or no, they'll pull you over and they'll give you a ticket for a crime, but you don't know what that crime is. You don't know if it was the speed you were going. You don't know what the speed limit was or what it should have been or what you were doing. You're just guilty of a crime, and you should know that. So that's how that's a good way to control people is tell them to drive safely, but don't tell them a speed limit. So that way. You can pull over anybody for anything. And that's ultimate control. Hey, you weren't driving safely back there. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. Uh, what's the definition of safe? Step out of the car, please. You're going to jail for crime. YouTube doesn't want people asking questions, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was my attitude, but is that what you guys want on YouTube? Is YouTube determining that? Hmm. But if you ask for specifics on YouTube, you only get in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, YouTube. Can you point out what I did wrong? So No, can't do that. Like, imagine that, dude. Imagine being at your job. You go in for your yearly review, and they're told, well, we can't give you a raise this year because you... Did something wrong. Oh, really, dude? Oh, how come I didn't know at the time? How come you didn't tell me? Like, I'm here to work. I, I want to do the right thing. I want to do good for this company and for myself and for my family. Well, we can't tell you why or what you did or anything. Oh, we're actually going to half your pay. In fact, you work for free now. Get in the truck. All right. Chad, I need to make an effort, though, to not be doom and gloom. Because I'm just becoming way too much of a boomer. And I should reel that talk in, though. Because all I ever do is complain to you guys about that stuff. On one hand, it'll start to affect you guys one day when all the videos on YouTube are just cotton candy hug parties of teddy bears and people in, you know, people people in woolly sweaters and stuff just, just making cotton candy and talking about sunshine, rainbows, and lollipops. I don't know. Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. But anyway, I would like to follow the rules, but when you ask what the rules are, it's a no-can do. So, what what the hell? Uh, I was just saying it's great how you get salty about YouTube. Never stop. I don't know, man. Like, you know, honestly, with to be honest with you guys, not until 2016 was there ever a time where I thought YouTube was dumb. Actually, that's not true. There are two times before 2016 that YouTube did stuff where it was like, what the hell are they thinking? One time, back in maybe 2013 or 2014, YouTube made the egregious decision to link the YouTube comments section with what they were trying to push as as their own version of Facebook at the time called Google+. And YouTube was making it so that way YouTube creators and viewers, new, new viewers at the time, people who were signing up for accounts, had to go through something called Google+. And so it ruined the comment section. Everybody was able to make fake Markiplier and fake PewDiePie accounts. And so everybody was posing as PewDiePie. And like all, all of the larger YouTubers and everybody else's uh, comment sections were just filled with scams of click here for my link to my store. And it was just all scams. And so people like PewDiePie and everyone else turned off their comment sections because they couldn't communicate. They couldn't get comments from their viewers to make better videos or to get feedback or to have a conversation. And so it all just became garbage, just copy-paste trash. And so people were turning it off. And then eventually YouTube went back on their decision. It was like, oh, sorry. The other thing that annoyed me was when YouTube... YouTube used to actually have banners. Like you could have a banner at the top of your channel and on your sides. And it was beautiful to see all the creativity of people. There actually was like a full industry around that. People would hire artists to make banners for the top of their channel and on their sides and stuff. And to be fair, YouTube took that away... And it was, I understand what their decision was, was because they were trying to go for uniformity across like tablets, 
smartphones and TVs where the banner size would adjust. And so they wanted to get rid of the banners on the side because the only way to watch YouTube used to mostly, for the most part, most people, up until smartphones and smart TVs, was PC. Some people watched on their tablets. Some people could watch on their phone. There was like an app even back on like smartphones earlier. But yeah. Now, now it's all gone, and it's kind of annoying, but that's not as bad as the egregious like forcing of the Google Plus thing. But what you may have reme- what you may have forgotten, which I still remember, is in 2019, YouTube tried to take away all validated creators' check marks. So any channel over 100,000 would would lose the validated creator check mark. Well, imagine how many fake accounts and such would uh, be created for that one. How many scam PewDiePie comments would be posted all over and then bots would be used to like that comment to get it to the top for links and such and we'd be back at the Google Plus thing again. But luckily, since then, YouTube's only made good decisions for its community and, you know, they they really truly care. They wouldn't want anybody to get scammed. It's like how you can, you know, like when you go to a video now and you go to look for a tutorial video, you know it's a bad one when you see the number of dislike. Oh, never mind. Ready for a fight? Oh, I'm ready. I'm going down. I'm going right down to that San Bernardino office right now, and I'm going to ask Susan. Susan, I want to have a civilized and... YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? I want to have a civilized and public discussion with you where we both respect each other and I ask a lot of questions. And I would like answers for me and everybody else. And I would be respectful, and I would be professional, and I would ask her questions face-to-face. I would, but they won't let me because now I'm... They're start. I think they're starting to recognize me as a problem because he's he's asking too many questions. Get him out of here. A convention in front of YouTube's office. I don't want to. I wouldn't want to create a scene. I honestly would like to ask. I would like to ask questions and I would like honest answers. But you can't do that. You can't. When you like as a company, you don't. When you use the word accountability, you don't say we take accountability. You have to say here. Blah, 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 we believe in accountability. Well, hell, kids believe in Santa, but that doesn't mean he's real. Like, here at Corporation, we believe in trust and safety. Yeah. Well, doesn't mean you have to deploy it. Doesn't mean you have to use it. I believe people should use their blinkers before they, uh, you know, change lanes, but you know how that is. Hi, who is that? There's somebody up there. Killer, Killer Jam. Oh, my God, Killer Jam, watch it. Oh, God. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, we're good. Will you marry me? Okay. <sighs> hey, we gotta go get some food. Yeah, we do. Do you want to meet at the truck? Yep. So anyway, let, me, let it just be known that any time I've ever complained, for those of you who think it's annoying, it's just because I really care... I think there's wonderful people out there like Nurse and Thurston and Booster and stuff who will be suppressed and ignored. And the power doesn't go to you guys, the viewer. It goes to the algorithm of YouTube and what they want you to see. And it's just gross. Videos used to go viral. Not anymore. Viral is now like, wow, this 2 million sub YouTuber got 100,000 views on their video. But remember, YouTube makes decisions based on one very important thing. And I don't know what it is, but if I ever find out what it is... I educate the cause. I mean, dude, my cause is like... When I started this channel, and I'm sure a lot of people when they started their channel, they just wanted to, like, entertain you guys. They liked watching videos and they were like, I bet I could do that, and they wanted to challenge themselves. I don't know. I'm sorry, chat. I'm, I'm going to make a real effort to try to not do it, but... Anyway, remind me, chat, when we get back to the base, I need to do a giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway on the Discord. Free game giveaway on the Discord in probably about 15 minutes or so. Jerry, okay. <laughs> God. Oh my god, is this your place? This is Jerry's place. 
Hi guys, come on over. We're doing a giveaway. Uh, am I a vet? Um, I am not a veteran in real life nor in the game. Or at least not of the military or anything, no. But I certainly respect those folks a lot. I got a lot in the family. Should we just lead them away or you want to fight? Because I could, I could lead them into the woods here. I'll take half and I'll lead them into the woods. This is literally why I return here, plus this game is dope. Yeah, I, I just... I don't want the channel to be me complaining. It's like... The only way to grow a channel now is to give away Roblox bucks and manipulate kids into being like, Hey, you kiddies want, um... You want Robux? You know? But that's not fair either. That's not fair to, to anybody to say that. That's how it goes down. Everything is just about how to bypass the algorithm in YouTube's control. It's sad that when people have a video, they don't call them viral videos anymore, where everybody, you know, shares it or whatnot. It's now, uh, they call it a breakthrough video. Breakthrough what? What is it breaking through? What do you mean? Breakthrough, what do you mean? Oh, the algorithm? Oh. Alright, time to head back to the road. Alright, no more complaining from me, Chad. I've done enough. I'm sorry, but I'm only passionate because I... I like YouTube, too. I like watching videos. Think about how many creators I've missed out on watching because, you know... Oh, hi. Not so much for that plan. I know you guys love me, that's why I'm passionate about it. Because some, some of you people literally choose to become members to support me financially because you like what I do. So it's like, it's frustrating when there's something that gets in between that. Because that's between you and me, not anybody else. You would like to complain about the lack of complaining on the channel. Alright, I'll have to keep my boomer segments to like... Five minutes per stream. Do I have a Twitch? Yeah, but... The link is broken because I, like, changed the URL recently. Is that a set of keys? I think that's a set of keys, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Call it boomer time? I mean, I don't know. I, I just want to be happy, that's all. And I want you guys to be happy, too. The icon would be bigger for keys. I think they've shrunk all the items now, though. I don't know. Gio, I led a big group of them away. I don't, I don't know where you are. Are you still at the uh, parking spot? You know who I want to be, Chat? I want to be that, that British dude who ju uh, grows giant vegetables and stuff. There's like a British guy. I think he used to work for like the National Railroad in the UK. I think his name is Gerald or something. And the dude wrote a book on just like growing massive vegetables. And I think he's got like a massive like uh, train set in his basement and stuff. That's the dude I want to be. I think his name is Gerald or something. But oh, what what a, what a just absolute champion, dude! To make it through life, to grow a garden in your backyard, and just make a make a book, and just like grow vegetables with like-minded people, and just share pictures of being like Gerald. I made a big pumpkin. Hey, I'm proud of you, bud. Eighty-nine-year-old British dude just cheering people on. Like that—that's a champion right there. That dude needs to be knighted. <laughs> Down, ma'am. Lay down. 
Ah, 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 don't you go for the ankles, ma'am. Damn ankle biters. Ooh, that was close. If I want to play with trains, play Factorio. Dude, I want to play Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, because that's like part city builder and like part uh, transport fever. That game is that game is awesome. Uh oh. All right, Chad. If I'm gonna be negative, I should also be super positive about YouTube too. It is a wonder. It's been a wonderful place over the last decade to be able to find so many unique people and their unique skills. And to see them be good at something by default, and then to be able to share it on YouTube too. There's been some incredible videos and such on there, and I, I like where the platform was, and I'm very nostalgic about those times. But we won't we won't return to those times. Everything is always changing. That's how life is. So thank you to all the people who. I've spoken to through the company. I've met some of these people in real life and spoke with them and they they really do care. There's a lot of people there who do care at the mid level and and they're you know, they're very passionate about what they do, but it's the um the overall plan that's, you know. The I mean, it's hard, it is hard to have such a massive influence and have everybody happy that's not going to happen they can't do that anymore that's not that's not fair to youtube either like imagine creating something and then trying to have everybody happy with it it's not going to happen gerald stratford big veg 26 april 22 is a book is going to be released yeah that's his name big big veg big gerald stratford i think his wife was in the hospital recently and he welcomed her home with like a wonderful Stew or something. I don't know. Dude's a champion, dude. Go go follow people like that. Gerald Stratford. Go follow elderly people who are... I shouldn't even say elderly. Just... El well, elders. Like, wise people who are just... Even in today's economy and world are still finding ways to... To be new. Like their grandma who plays, um... Skyrim all the time. Shirley Curly. She's wonderful. Tesla's making phones now? Wow. Can you build a base close by? Sure. Some people have been fortifying the, um... Some people have been fortifying the, um... The trailers out in front of our place, that might be a good idea. There's a little bit of storage there, you can store your own stuff. And if you need something, we can do a little trade or something like that or whatever. Or you can work with them or whatever. Whatever. Damn it, more zombies? Chef Boy RD! Gerald is only 2k away from 100,000 subs. On YouTube? The dude's got a YouTube channel? Wow. Yeah, people like that have to be respected. Like, I... Imagine growing up in a time where, like, even television was rare. And then... Being big on, like, wherever. Or a hobby or something you're passionate about. That's something special. Anyway, chat. Sorry for my frustrations. I also want to do better, but sometimes it feels like in vain.
so enough of that. All right, let's keep trucking. Oh, boy. I see I have some new followers today. Uh, the bookstore here is replenished again, Jerry. Ma'am, not now. Here, where are you? Still by the the store the, where we left the truck. Right, there's a lot of friends around here. They're all moving up the highway. We got a truck here with a trailer. Don't go that way. Too many, too many, too many, too many. One on your left behind. Try losing them by the bookstore again. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, it's snowing, Jerry. It's snowing, chat! It's snowing! Try to get right close to me. And when we turn the corner, I'm gonna shout. And then run. 
they'll, they'll try to go to that spot where we shot it. Very smart. I'm gonna have me a beer. Hey man, beer there. Uh, hey chat, should we keep t chatting about games? Yeah, I agree. Remember chat, I owe you a giveaway as soon as we get home. So everybody who's watching, Discord giveaway soon. Times three. Was that a double holster I found? Uh... Yep. I think we have uh, two of those back at the house. That makes number three. So I'm gonna have that. Eat that right now. Since we're in zombie territory. Jerry's the watch salesman in this game. Have you seen him? He offers everybody watches. Baby, I found butter. Ooh, rice vinegar, nice. And peanut butter pog. Boom, boom. Should do a community game of War Thunder? I think we've done that before. Maybe again someday. Aw, oh, fruit muffin is rotten. Oh. That's ridiculous. I am upset. Any parmesan yet? No. Not yet, but soon. Yeah, rotten food can be made into fertilizer. You can also cook with it if you get a certain skill.
Still loading up the truck, boys. Got a lot of stuff. You'll dominate in this game once you stop dying. Yeah. That's true. Uh, this game is all about just going longer and longer between each death. Wow, Jerry's actually taking the time to read a book. Wait, did I just dump a bunch of stuff on the ground? Oh no. That's rotten. Oh boy. My character needs some nugs. I think we need a new member so I can read another um, wonderful little pun. But apparently chat's more interested in penicillin than they are puns. And have you gotten your uh, penicillin shot today? Yeah, you can make a safe house in order to kind of make a save point for if you die. Then you'll spawn there and you'll have all your stuff nearby. Or you can go kill your zomb zombified self if you get bit. Last time I died, it was because server lag and I plowed in the back of Jerry's car doing 90, apparently. Apparently. Jerry, you got any uh, buffets you're excited to go to when you when you hit the tables, or when you're when you when you when you land in Vegas? Any good yeah. all-you-can-eat places? All-you-can-eat. Or is there no time for food? No time for food. Just, <laughs> just... Jerry's just gonna survive off the free soda at the uh, at the table that they drop off. Soda, yeah. Oh, yeah, soda. Soda, yeah, chat, soda. It's gonna be like that episode of Casino Royale. I'll be honest, that first that first Casino Royale movie with, um... Uh, what's his name, Daniel Craig? So boring, dude. That first movie, god. I went back and watched it again, I was like, I'm older now, I'll probably like... No. <laughs> it's so boring. I mean, it's definitely a uh, homage to the first, like, couple of Bond movies, and it's fine, but... Pierce Brosnan's my man. I, lo I love I love that Pierce Brosnan and the Sean Connery. I love them all. Bond's good. Yeah, this is a uh, outpost that's uh, west of West Point in uh, Maldoro. It's kind of southwest of that city. Uh. Well, the fact that I haven't died is great. And look at look at these skills, chat. Damn. Or at least with the combat skills. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm going to start using the axe. Because it's kind of important. Yeah, maybe I just wasn't in the mood for Casino Royale at the time. It's, it's probably a good movie, but... I 
I mean, there's no such thing really as a bad movie for me, for Bond. They're all good. Or better. Or best. Hi, ma'am. Uh, no such thing as a bad Bond movie. For me, anyway. I love them all. It just, it's just very nostalgic of me sitting around in like 2002, 2004 and just watching the TBS Bond marathons and just... It's like around the time that... Um, uh, what was the name of that one movie? Um, with the hovercrafts and Pierce Brosnan's in it. Die Another Day, I think. I think Halle Berry was in that, too. But yeah, around the time that movie was coming out is when I remember watching a lot of the marathons. Maybe I can ask the zombies some questions. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, chat's got jokes. Chat's got jokes. Good. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I kind of want to read some more penicillin facts, too. We could, we could do puns for every new member upgraded or super chat, or we could do more penicillin facts. But I think we've read it all. I don't, I don't know what else there is to know. I don't even know how the hell we got on that discussion the other day. Yeah, yeah. Die Another Day is the one when the, when the dude gets, like, diamonds embedded in his face. That's pretty sweet, actually. It's like, oh, dude, those diamonds are in deep. Like, we can't... We can't extract those, dude. Maybe I'll read from the zombie book. That's what we'll do next. That movie's Bond car was amazing. Oh, what was it? It was probably like an Aston Martin or something, right? Uh, the location of our base is here. Where it says outpost on the screen. This is the city of Maldro, and it's basically at the very bottom. These two black buildings here. It's next to the police station, gas stations here. Oh, is it was called a Vanquish? Ooh. Oh, is it Aston Martin Vanquish? Yeah, you can mark the map yourself. You just need pens and pencils to do it. If you press M, mic, if you press mic on your keyboard, it'll bring up the map. And then if, you, if you're if you in a city or if you've discovered the map for another city, you can then, uh, over here on the right side, you can, like, draw all sorts of symbols and stuff and whatever you want to do. You can remove it, too, if you have an eraser. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Uh, it's me again. I wanted to say I'm sorry for being a weird guy who asked questions the whole time. Please forgive me. I think I made it clear earlier that I was actually quite delighted that you were asking so many different questions. That's cool. Like, just because I noticed you were asking questions doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Sometimes I miss questions and stuff, or ignore it because I just answered it and wait a little while. It's like a glo global cooldown. So that way I don't repeat myself too often. Okay, let's see. It's 1 a.m., so we're going to stay at home. And it's snowing out. Oh, it's almost Christmas! Oh, look, it's 1222, Jerry. Oh, i got to get Jerry a Christmas gift. 
Let's see, we gotta work on a Christmas gift for Jerry. base chat you forgot to remind me to do a giveaway I, I just remembered on my own chat chat can you tow vehicles yes you can do that you can tow another vehicle in this game very helpful for if you find a vehicle that doesn't run but you need its parts for something like that you can always like like let's say your car has uh, I don't know some broken windows and you found a car that's compatible you can just tow it out of there and repair it at your base all right, chat, on the Discord right now, I'm going to drop some keys for some games for everybody. You don't have to be a member. You just have to be in the Discord. Link's in the description. And I will drop a link for that shortly. Not a link. I will drop keys for Steam very shortly. All right, let's see. We're going to be giving away... Uh, uh-oh. Ah, yeah. Ah. Okay. Ooh... And I remember now, I also have keys for another game that's a, a medieval, like, market trading simulator where you're, you're in a medieval town and you can sell products and stuff. I gotta do giveaways on that one, too. I haven't even played that myself. Maybe tomorrow. I think we're gonna stream that one tomorrow. All right, here come the keys, folks, for a, a restaurant management simulator. And I will drop those momentarily. Stand by. Bum, bum, bum. Oh man, so many DMs. I, I can't even. I can't even get to half of those. All right, general chat. Here comes the keys. Good luck. Enjoy. Key number one. If you uh, happen to win or claim the key, make sure you just put a little emote next to it, so that way we know uh, that somebody's claimed it. So that way everyone knows that they can move on to the next one. Key one is in. Key two is in. Key three is in. Enjoy. Thank you, chat, for your support. Uh, because this channel continues to grow, developers come to me all the time, and they're like, hey, if you ever want keys for your community, let us know. Like, they literally send me keys for a game, and they're just like, hey, I, hey, hope, you know, like, I got an email the other day. It was like, yeah, hey, Happy New Year. If you need any keys for any of the games we're coming up with next year, just let us know. We'd love to, like, have it for your, your community for giveaways and stuff. It's like, wow, all right, that's nice. I guess to return the favor, I just give a shout-out for the game, so... And that one was called uh, Check, Please. Looking for a good server to play on? How does one join your server? Exclamation point. Join us. And or the pinned message at the top of chat. We got some really good people in here. Very active. Very active. People are coming on and off all day. As they have different free time. The mannequin is awesome. Yes, that is... Uh, we got to name that mannequin. I think I named her Greg. I don't know. Maybe we can come up with a name. All right, I feel like reading a pun. Nobody's become a member. I'm sad. I'm going to read a pun. That'll make me happy. I thought we would have another one, but I need to be cheered up. Hmm. Oh, that. Oh, I've heard that one a million times. What are Windmill's favorite genre of music? They're big metal fans. Manny Quinn, Tim. <laughs> All right, let's see. Wow, apparently my character's bored. God, my character gets bored so easily. It's ridiculous. Like, I come home, 20 minute passes by, and it's just like, I'm sad, bored. Like, what? All right, go outside, and then now it's cured. Silent Bob. That's a good one. That's the uh, that's the base mascot. 
is mannequin lady guy. Maybe we should just name her Bud. So Bud. Oh, hate that. It reminds me of yesterday's conversation about yeah, I got a buddy who's a who he's a he's a buddy. Damn, we got a 24 pack of soda. Damn, Jerry, we can dude bust out the TMNT. Let's have a board game, Jerry. Let's make a character. Character sheet for TMNT. Oh, you want to name it Mabel? Name him Alex so he doesn't miss a stream. I miss Alex. I've kind of stopped, like, trying to encourage him to, f to stream along with me or to, like, come because it's like... I think he's just... He's in a little bit of a rut. He's in a new uh, part of town. You know, he's on, he's on a new island. He's getting his bearings still. It'll take a while. I'm just giving him space. Same with Bradford. Bradford's uh, got that new job in Texas. Don't worry, he'll be back. I'll just have a soda soon. My character will get happy. Maybe I could read a skill book of some sort. Ugh, book reading? I'm so against that. Master Carpentry. What's a butt joint? Forging for beginners. Eh, we'll do that one. Beginners is one to two, okay. In the meantime, in honor of John Madden passing away yesterday, let's listen to some uh, hilarious John Madden stuff, shall we? I'll tell you who does it. Brett Favre does it. And most people would have sent that squirrel on its way. But Brett Favre was worried that squirrel wouldn't get away. Maybe he's being chased by a predator or a bigger squirrel that wanted whatever that squirrel had gathered. <laughs> so Brett Favre caught that squirrel karate. And I said to Brett, I didn't know you knew karate. And that's when Brett Favre said to me, I didn't know karate. I taught it to myself when I saw that squirrel trip. <laughs> that tells you something right there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Madden. John Madden passed away yesterday. Chips with dip? Ah, it's a little salsa. I found I, I had a bunch of salsa left over in my fridge the other day, so when I went grocery shopping, I was like, oh, bro, I need to buy some tortilla chips. And I did. Tortillas. I guess technically it's not tortilla, it's tostados. Uh, does every skill in the game have its own book? No, not necessarily. Things like agility and um, nimbleness and sneaking, you can grind by just doing those things. Same with combat. It's pretty much everything under crafting or survivalist. That's why my character's reading this book right now. Because zombie survival is fun! Yeah! Hey, not everything in a zombie apocalypse is going to be like exciting chat, you know? 
It's not gonna be like guns blazing all the time. Sometimes you gotta read a book. Can you sneak while reading a book to level both? Damn. That is a tactic. Boom. Yeah, the moment you move, you stop reading the book, so no. But it does remember where you left off, so. It does remember where you left off, so that's fine. But this is what makes uh, you not want to die mostly in the game, too. Is like, once you've, you know, secured food and water and a, and a home and such, you start upping your skills, and then, you know, once your characters become incredibly intelligent, you don't want to lose them. You want everyone to be happy and alive. Oh, Jerry's turned on the other TV. Well, at least reading this book helps me to get caught up on emails. Ooh, I wonder if I got any more uh, scam emails, chat. Let's see. Any more, any more emails from Canon? I've kind of stopped looking because, like, I'm in my off period. Let's see... Uh, no. Ooh, winter sale on GOG. Oh, what's the free game today on Epic Game Store, Chad? Did they update that yet? Is there, is there a free game yet? Have they updated that yet? Bears or Raptors Arch Nemesis? No, no way. Oh, it's Salt and Sanctuary? Nice. That's a good side-scroller. Um, kind of like Dark Souls, but side-scrolling, from what I understand. I'm going to go get that right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Salt and Sanctuary. Nice. I like how we're building a new base, Jerry, and chat's like, what happened to the old base? Did it burn down? <laughs> like, that's the only possible outcome. We're, we're just building new outposts in every uh, every city in the map. I guess that'll be maybe our end goal is to try to go to each city, gather weapons, ammo, food, and stuff, and just kind of explore a little bit. This will be helpful for other times that we play this game, too, because the, you know, the more and more that you know the cities, it'll just be in the back of your mind of being like, oh, yeah, this is this place, so over there's the police station, and... So it'll, it'll just make it'll make it for a little a little better experience. 
In the meantime, I'm going to read a bunch of books and get all my stats up. I should probably get the damn first aid stat up, because, man, the amount of times... Jeez, yesterday I almost died to death with a scratch on my neck from a tree, dude. That must have went straight for the jugular. That was crazy. The Riverside School is a great base for farming. Interesting. Dude. Yeah, what about a Project Zomboid mod where all the zombies are turned into bears? Yeah, I almost bled out. We almost died. We almost died, but luckily I was there with Band-Aid. Chat had Band-Aids for me. Band-Aid, 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 stuck on Band-Aid, Band-Aid. We need bear mods. I mean, if someone wants to make a Project Zomboid bear mod, I have no I have no idea how to make mods for Project Zomboid. All right, Tucker Hat's almost done with his book reading chat. There we go, finally. Okay, on to first aid for beginners. God, the amount of movies we have, bro. God, if we ever lose this base. Hmm. We fill a, fill a cooking pot with the water on the ground. Sounds like a faucet. Oh, yeah. There it is. First aid for beginners. Skill time, chat. I get more confident in my abilities, so... Time to be a more helpful big boy for the boys. It's boring, but it's necessary and part of the game. Do we have a bug-out bag and a car park nearby? Um, I have a Wendy's bag nearby. There might be like a, maybe like an extra fry at the bottom of that bag. Yeah, first aid and carpentry are good ways to start in this game for sure. Bow show. Was that the, the ghost of Tucker Hat? Yes. Yay, I got my Epic Games now. Cool. Uh, anytime you guys get anything on the Epic Game Store, as a reminder, be sure to use code Raptoria at checkout. I get like a little bonus or something for, for doing that. So even though Even if it's free, I get like a little bonus for it. 
What sites do you use to download games? You just use uh, Steam. Steam or Epic Game Store. I'm actually kind of surprised a lot of people still ask that. Is that is it like is the awareness of like um, Steam and Epic and Ubisoft and stuff is is that like lower? Or like are there a lot more alternatives where people are asking me like what the best are? Because I, I always thought Steam was like since it's been a around forever, it's like a standard. Like Steam is really just like I would assume if you have a PC and an internet connection, you probably have a Steam account, right? But, but maybe not. Maybe not. Bum, 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 bum. What are the main things to prep for the winter? Well, you certainly want a lot of food. Um, right now it's like snowing and stuff outside, and you'll need you'll need warmth and things like that. Oh god. Well, good luck finding what watch that is, boys. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Steam helps your self-esteem? Well, that... You're hearing a beeping? Yeah, you're hearing... If you're hearing a beeping right now, it, it only beep if you haven't clicked the like button. It's a new feature on YouTube. They've removed the dislike button, and now you'll hear, hear an alert if you're watching a video and you haven't yet smashed like. It's a new feature. Very helpful. Oh, there you go. See? It worked. Bomb. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're still learning first aid, but it's so important, chat. Oh, does anybody have a spare generator book you could get on the server? Yeah, um, I know we have one in our American Tire Base in... Actually, is Global Chat actually work in this game, Jerry? Ask in, like, yes. ask in the Global Chat in game. Because there might be somebody near you if you are if you tell them what city you're in. It certainly would be a pain to like have to drive across Kentucky to give you a generator book. You might you might be near somebody who might have a base, so don't be afraid to ask in the chat. Alright, we're almost done. We're like three fourths of the way. Use slash all for global, says Squirrel. Thank you. my character in like board I guess I guess it's like studying at least they're occupying their time with something useful good so we'll get an XP boost on level one this is a necessary part of the game chat you gotta gotta read gotta watch movies Hmm. 
that would be acceptable. Yep, when vehicles take damage, their cargo capacity will go down. That's true. So that's another reason to avoid zombies. Try not to hit anything. Treat your car like it's loaded with TNT. It'll keep you alive. Can you watch a video and read a book at the same time? True. I could do that. I don't know if we have any uh, videos on... Jerry, are there electrical, metalworking, or tailoring videos? So electrical and tailoring. Oh, there's really a video on tailoring? Oh, I thought there was only books. Yeah, we don't have it, though. Oh, we don't have any of those? Okay. We just had, I got lucky and found the electrical one. Those are quite rare because they're the home VHS ones. Yeah, zombies killed 379. I think Jerry got up to 600 before. Or plus? 700. 700? Oh boy. Mr. Jerry. Okay. Guess I could learn electrical? Hmm. Tailoring would be good. Damn. Here, we've opened a library food sh uh, like food shelf. Oh, here's the uh, How to Use Generators book if anybody's near us in uh, Maldera. I guess we have one of those. Please borrow it and put it back. Or you just gotta read it once. It's very easy. I think that's kind of dumb that you need to do that, Jerry. Like, seriously. Who doesn't... <laughs> like, who hasn't started a lawnmower before? Like, that's essentially what it is. I mean, I've used generators before. I know how they work. And I'm, I'm dumb. I'm a YouTuber. What do you think I know? Nothing. Oh, it also gonna... gives you the ability to fix them. So... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, Jerry, when are you leaving for Vegas? Is it tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow p.m.? Morning. Tomorrow morning, you're leaving for Vegas? Yeah. Oh, baby. How long's the flight? Four hours? Five hour drive. Hmm? Five hour drive. Drive? Wait, I thought you were flying. No, I'm flying home from there. Wow. Five hour drive. I could do that. What game do I think I'll bring the new year in with? Uh, probably play like Ostrieve and... I don't know. I did, I did plan on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day to try to play... Um, something a little different. We've been playing a lot of Zomboid. I know you guys like it, but I think it'll keep it interesting if I take a couple days off for yet another holiday. And to give some of you some hangover relief. By the way, chat, remember, the best hangover cure is not to drink. Oh! They, the damn, damn radio and everybody else gives you that same advice every single year. Every single year, it's like... Top 10 hangover cures. Number one, don't drink. Whoa! Yeah, dude, yeah. Thanks. And then there's those other ones where it's like, oh, dude, you take, okay. You take, you take a, a lemon zest, a droplet of water, and then you, like, you have it blessed by a priest. Then you drive it around a parking lot counterclockwise while the moon sets on the... A Sunday. It's like, wow. How about just drink lots of water? That's all. Should try to get more food or something. Do I think I'll play Valheim again? Bro, I got like a thousand hours in Valheim. We played that so much. I played it again, too. Recently with Alex and everybody else again, but... Nothing compares to that first time. Maybe I'll play Valheim again when like it's fully... Like, fully complete. 
Valheim's pretty amazing, but I, I want to be able to maybe complete the game now because I don't, I don't want to go in and build a nice base and then like have it wipe again. But I like Valheim. So maybe soon. I'm a nurse. Not that I'm an advocate, but Pedialyte is better than water or Gatorade. That's true. I've had um, a number of friends and family go through surgeries where, like, le at the uh, at the VA medical center when I go to pick them up, there's just like a wall, like there's like a line of veterans, and everyone's just loading up with a case of Pedialyte on the way out, because <laughs> it's like it's a very good thing to have for any sort of surgery or anything like that to get you back up on your feet. Lens Island, perhaps? Eh, maybe. I'll play that again when it's more... I, there's some things I feel I should play when they're more complete. Ostrief has an update, though, that came out in December, earlier in the year, I think, so... Tell Jerry safe travels and Godspeed. Well, I don't know, dude. Judging by how he drives his damn car in Zomboid, I hope you're not driving to Vegas, Jerry. Maybe. Oh, no. I'll come drive you, Jerry. I'll fly out. I'll show for you. Bro, think about all the Whataburgers we could stop at. Whataburger here? Yeah, we'll get lost, you know. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was implying. <laughs> Whataburger here? I thought you get the joke. Jerry, you're a man of exquisite passion. Part of the joke. Yeah. We're like a, ra a morning radio show that's not really informative or funny. I am, at least. You're probably... You, you, I find you funny, Jerry. You don't have to do much. It's it's good. What is my sub goal for 22? Uh, at this point, it's a billion subs. I don't know. I honestly would like to start grinding it out on Twitch. Uh, Twitch has a little bit of a different atmosphere, but I, d I don't want to also... Like, maybe I'll stream on Twitch two days a week and then, like, take a little break here on YouTube, but... Both platforms now are so big and... I don't know, it's... I don't know. Bye. Oh, what's up, Sturmfuhrer PK? How you doing? How are the mods for Men of War Assault Squad and... Fall to Arms, Gates of Hell, and stuff going. I think you may have sent me one recently. I think I tried to play your... Maybe it was you. You came up with a mod for... Okina no, not Okinawa. Uh, Iwo Jima. And uh, I couldn't get it to work. I tried. Brain too dumb now. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to go for that. I, I know where we can go. Where? Sledgehammers are us in the slam, the slam yep. district? Exactly. Okay. We're both hilarious? Yeah. Uh, Jerry just makes me not... Um... Jerry's on task so I can goof off. Usually it's the other way around. And then people call me rude. Like, we'll play farming sim and be like, Come on, guys, we got to get this stuff into the store. You're so mean! Like, what? Well, if we don't... If we don't... Just let them dump the grain wherever they feel like. Hippie commune sim. It's like, no, dude, the grain's got to go in the grain elevator. You're evil. That's the younger kids, though. They think everything's like a SpongeBob cartoon. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with our first aid book, I swear. And then we're going to eat, and then we'll go help Jerry. <laughs> Uh, hey Raptor, today's my birthday, 63 years young, good to see you. Damn, happy birthday, bro. Hey, would you me, yes, I got a couple more mods of Gate to Hell and more coming. Most of the mods require other mods to play, sorry for that. Oh, that's okay, dude, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I, I, I went in and tried to, like, I know there was, like, two other mods as well as the main mods, so. But thank you, Serum, for your PK for the, 
all that you've done for the uh, Meta War Assault Squad community and the Gates of Hell community. V much love, dude. Respect to all those all those people involved with making mods. And the other people who still play that. Uh, Meta War Assault Squad and stuff. Put it on their channels. Uh, I don't... Honestly, I don't know who else actually plays that aside from me... Germinator and uh, Diplex Heated. I don't. I don't know if there's any. I'm sure there's. Oh, um, Daily Tactics. Maybe that's. The, those are the only three I can name off the top of my head. I. I don't even know if that's true anymore. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if they play those anymore. I haven't looked in like a year. Maybe I would assume. Hmm. Speaking of World War Two, I could. I could drop a could drop a new video right now on the World War II. No, you guys wouldn't want to see a new video right now on the channel. No, a new World War II video attack. No, no, you guys wouldn't want that. Do I ever do charity streams? Um, so I've done a couple of ch I've done a few charity things through YouTube, and I've raised money and and uh, did events related to charity. But as for myself, where I ask you guys to give money to me so I can make a donation on behalf of our community, no. I'd have to find a charity, and then we'd have to figure out a way for you guys to get. First of all, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust YouTube worth a second. Or that it would have to be. I would have to figure out how to do it via PayPal, and then I'd have to have transparency to prove to you guys that every penny that you gave me to give to a charity went through. You know, because that that's like the right thing to do, right? But I got to make sure that there's like, you know, no doubt that you guys trust me, and that we find something that we all believe in, and that I find a way to get it to a charity somehow. So I, I we would have to figure that out. And I want to make sure if I do it, I do it right, because I don't want. I don't want to make any mistakes, especially when it comes to that. That takes a lot of trust from the charity and from you guys to do. And if I goof up, that's that's my ass. Like I don't want I don't want to goof up. There's no room for error when it comes to charity stuff. No way. But I want to make sure I do it right. Make it easy, PO box for teddy bear donations for kids at Christmas. That'd be cool, actually, to do physical stuff. I think in this climate, though, money is probably easiest because there's a lot of concern about, you know, if we... It'd be really nice to do something for a children's hospital, but with the big C going around, everything would have to... Everything would have to be, you know... There's probably some very strict restrictions on that. It's a nightmare, don't do it, no good deeds go unpunished. Oh, that's true too, yeah. No, we shouldn't be pessimistic. I really should find a way to do it. M maybe what I would do is, if somebody else was doing all the organization and they showed a very good plan to me and they, and they did like a big group of creators and they asked me to be a part of it, which I've done before through YouTube with UNICEF. I've done that. Um, if somebody else does the logistics and such, I will, I will be a part of that. Because I don't know... I want to, if I was to do it, it would have to, I would spend so much time making sure that I did it right that I'd probably make a mistake and then, yeah. But we should use our power for good, that's true. Like if, dude, if everybody on the channel gave me a buck to give away, dude, could you imagine doing a million dollars? I know a lot of you don't even have a dollar because, you know, that, that's completely understandable and there's nothing wrong with that, but, man, that would be, that'd be a powerful thing. That'd be, that'd be a hell of a life goal. Yeah, I'd need a lawyer. Yeah, that's true. You missed my Metal War Assault Squad videos. One step ahead of posting videos about new mods. Looking forward to seeing your videos on Metal War Assault Squad 2. Uh, I did some on Company... Uh, well, I'm actually doing a re-upload of Company Heroes recently. And... Um, Welcome. Um, I did uh, some on the, the, the update to Call to Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront. But... Uh, yeah, sir, if you're... If I'm, dude, I love the... I think that's a, a thing that made my channel great at the very beginning was Men of War Assault Squad and all that stuff. So I feel very obligated to people like you, Sturmfuhr, and other people who make those mods to continue to show you guys respect by promoting those games and or your mods. Although my interests have changed a little bit, I still want to stick to my roots of loving that game. Because Men of War Assault Squad and 
Men, uh, and uh, War Game European Escalation are two games that really made me want to keep making videos on YouTube and stuff. And not keep making as if, like, you know, like there was something stopping me from making it. But it was fun. They made it fun. And I wanted to keep doing more and more. Uh, welcome aboard to William Reeves. That means a new pun for chat. I'm going to grab some food and then I'll go out on Jerry with Jerry on a mission. Uh, let's see. The past, present, and future walk into a bar. It was tense. That's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, every time we get a new member or a big O super chat, I'll, re I'll read one of those as a... Thanks to chat for the support. I gotta do something. Alright, Jerry, you wanna go, uh, what's the goal? I find a sledgehammer. Alright, wh where do we have to go? Do are we taking the car? Yep. Okay. Before. Am I a dog or a cat person? I like both. Growing up, I've always had dogs, but cats are cool. I like when cats, um, you know, when cats kind of like, um, when people get them like their tower and they hang out up in the tower, I guess, and they just snooze all day in the sun. Cats are lucky. Dogs are fun though. Dog you can go out on a walk, you know, on a walk with and, You know, go throw the ball around a little bit. Dogs are fun, too, because you can, like, if it's a bigger dog, you can, like, grab their head and, you know, like, you kind of, like, smash their head into yours and you're like, ah! Like, it's always good to see how excited dogs get when you come home, even the, even the little dogs, you know? Good luck finding a sledgehammer. Thanks. We will find one. It's around here somewhere. Oh, people are making catios? Oh. Yeah, cats are somewhere between, like, a hamster and a dog. Sometimes people will make some really nice, like, hangout spots for them. What's today's driving music? Um... Let's see. I'll, I'll find you some driving music, chat. Uh, let's try... Let's see. Let's try this song. Oh, darn it. Oh, I accidentally posted a new video with the link in the chat. Oh, darn it. Oh, I made the mistake of accidentally releasing a new video with the link in the chat right now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oops. Darn it. Now everybody in the chat's going to be the first to see the new video with the link in the chat. Damn. Oh. My mistake. God, that's embarrassing. I hope nobody sees my new video.
Bum, 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 bum. Can we get to a thousand likes before the stream ends? No, no way. No way. Oh, there's a news van. Oh. You know what that means, chat. That means it's a van. No, no drive for this. Uh, no music for this drive. What? All right, fine. I'll, I'll find a quick song, Chad. All right. We're done. Right here. Right here. No, we're not here yet. All right. How about this song? Oops. Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm. I'm okay. I'm ready. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, we're here now. Yep. Are you trying to lure all the zombies around? You never. Had to lose them. You were trying to lose them? What do you think they were going to do? Get in their car? <laughs> I was trying to get you to get out earlier, but now they're all around. They're always around. They're zombies. Zombie. Zombie. Uh, Muscle Man, thank you very much for becoming a little raptor. Chat, remind me when we get home to read you a pun. Get wrecked, madam. Trying to get these axe skills up. Alright, what's the plan, Jerry? You just want to check this place? Yeah, there's a couple places in this area. Where'd you go? East? Yeah, like north. Northeast. Northeast? Don't you want to check this uh, garage? Yes, but I think I'm using this on this first. <laughs> oh no, house alarm went off. Was that you, Jerry? I uh, checked out some of your new, uh, pretty good, like, military chat. Wait, what? Oh, new video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people were, like, so we, the recent video I put up, a lot of people uh, in one of our recent streams was asking me to play it again, and they were uh, equating it to XCOM, and it's like, well, okay, I guess I can see that, because people find that as the most popular, like, if you say turn-based, they're not interested. If you say, oh, this game's like XCOM, they're like, POG! And it's like, dude, XCOM and, like, turn-based is the same thing. No, it's not. They're completely different. Okay. So, whatever. Get wrecked, sir. Oh, we need a little break. Ma'am, no. Uh, 
That's too many. Oh, Jerry, they're all coming east because of the alarm. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to have to go find some woods or something. Chat, did you know a video just went live on the channel? Pog. Even during a live stream, a brand new video just for you. For me? Yes, for you. Stop fooling around in the dark. What do you mean? It's only going to get darker. Are you afraid of the dark? That was a show. Hey Alexa, subscribe to Raptor. Yes. Uh, one of your recent thumbnails for this game showed several hundred zombies outside of a building. Was that achieved in game or photoshopped? No, that's possible in game. Most of the screenshots I have for this game are just from the developer's website or ones of the map that uh, that you can find on, like, there's a website that has, like, the whole map and you can zoom in on it and, like, take a screenshot. And that's what I did. Why did I just do that? Yes. Well, don't be mad, chat. Sneaking one up. Oh my god, I need that news van. Well, so much for sneaking. I tried. Say, hey, Google. I think you're supposed to say, okay, Google. Open YouTube. Search Raptor. Subscribe. Yes. I don't even know if that works. I have no idea how any of that stuff works. Can I see what I'm doing? Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be really dark, but basically I'm like, I'm walking west and I know there's a zombie behind me based on the sounds. Like, a lot of this is based on... You, if you're... Brother, if you're playing this game, you gotta use all your senses, brother. You understand me? Tucker hat don't take no chances. Except for in Vegas. I think I lost all the zombies. I'll just hang out here till we clear them all out, and then I'm gonna go head into the storage area. No! No! Bad zombie. Ooh, cigarettes. I won't need those.
Can you clear an area permanent uh, with mods and stuff, but eventually they'll sneak through. Am I getting the news van? Uh, probably not. Maybe. I'm gonna clear out. Hey, sir, over here. Where the hell did he go? Get out of here, sir. There we go. A flashlight if we're gonna check this place that's a hell no it wrecked madam do you have any luck I'm not in the storage area yet I'm where near we parked. I see some like storagey kind of areas, but it's too dark to go inside. Zombie with an axe trying to get in. Alert! Missile lock. Where's the news van? It's to the south. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. Whoa, hi, folks. Zombies? Favorite zombie movie? I have no idea. Kind of in the mood to watch Shaun of the Dead again sometime soon. Or maybe uh, 28 Days Later. Ooh. Okay, we can clear this out, but I can't check the buildings till daytime. It's just way too dark. Our sneak up, boys. Yep, leveling up that sneak. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's a horde. All right, we can take them on one at a time.
You wanna have a flashlight? I have A uh, farm next to my name just means that, like, when we started this game, I wanted to be a farmer, and so everyone joined me to, like, start a farming colony. It's just, like, the name of our faction. But we're all kind of working together. It's, the game has PvP, but you'll have a better time if you work together against the zombies. Until we we can see inside there. Uh, Jerry nearby. The north facility is cl uh, clear where we parked, at least inside the building. What's up, Marius Z? How you doing, dude? Welcome to Big O Stream. Trying to lure over zombies one by one. Lunchtime. Let's have some spaghetti. Ah, oh, never mind. Sir, I was trying to have a dinner. I guess you were trying to do the same. Okay, take that, sir. She's hauling. <laughs> and the good thing about this is I'm getting my axe XP up. That's good. Where are we? Ooh, sneaking's going up too. Nice. And Axe XP is almost level one. Or two. One. Louder flies, be louder. You hear for the bite noise every time? It'll happen eventually. I will make a mistake. Hey, Bobby K. How you doing, bro? 
Ooh, he's got a machete. Nice. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. <sighs> Got him, boys. First try. Bobby Buh. Them zombies ain't right. Buh. Okay, my character needs a little little breaky break. A little moderate exertion. You gotta chill out a little bit. That axe is heavy. Ooh. Oh, you gotta catch up on the streams? We just started farming? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a while till you see uh, what we do here, but luckily we got a plenty of food stored up. Now we're just kind of prepping... Winter is here, you know, but we still got to prepare to get through it. Gathering more wood and ammo and food, food and food, more food and food. Chill inside. It's a little less cold out there. In here. You like my live stream? Keep up the good work. Thank you, Andreas. Thank you. Hmm. I also like my live stream. We all have so much in common. It's awesome. Can you freeze to death? Yep, you sure can. Oh, I can't see anything. You just had some homemade shrimp fried rice? Did you get the recipe from fried from Jerry? I've had shrimp and rice before, but fried? Ooh, chocolate, thank you. I love chocolate. 85% dark pog. Rap, do you never watch your own live streams? I'm watching right now. I'm watching chat. Be a bunch of chatty chats right now. Bomb bomb. Yeah, Jerry's here. Rick is just on vacation. And Jerry's in a different building. I'm waiting for daytime so I can actually see what's in this building. Can you cuddle a buddy for warmth? Even in real life. Pog. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Jerry, 
chat. Yeah, we gotta wait until like six. <coughs> Sorry, six. <coughs> Spicy. Sorry, yeah, 6 a.m. usually. This game doesn't let you have a dog on playable? Well, I suppose there could be a mod for, like, maybe the ability to have a dog. Or an up dog. <gasps> a water cooler. Pog. Hmm. Oh. What did he say? Can you leave that water cooler here for me? Sure. If you guys are looking for uh, safe places, there's like east side of West Point. We have like a American tire. You can kind of get away from the zombies for a while and read some books or something. That's something we can always share as books because they don't, you don't really consume them. You just read them and then eventually um, you, just re you have to read a different one. All right, we can finally see. Thank God. Box of nails. Just looking for a hammer of sledge. How's this game uh, in early access when it was originally released in 2013? Well, 2013 is when you could start... Like, it was around in 2011. The devs worked on it and put it on Steam in 2013. But it's been... It's one of those games where it's... The, the team is very small and they release updates, you know, a couple of times a year. And it's been a steadily improving game for a very long time. But, uh, yeah... I mean, that's what, on one hand, that's why early access is nice, is because that these guys were able to sell their game and make money to put back into it for a very long time, and a lot of people are really happy with what they've done. I mean, the game's ten bucks right now on Steam, so it's like, for a game this massive, you know, there's a lot of games that continue to enter early access. They've been pretty consistent, yeah. Valheim's another game like that, too, though, that, that's not been out as long. All right, chat. Pinto bless wall or a sledged hammer. We need a hammer for sledge. So I don't know if Jerry's been in here. I see dead zombies, but that could be anything. Well, yeah, I was there. That, Some sledgehammer. Uh, Wait, you got a sledgehammer? Nope. Whatever you need. Damn it. Sound like screwed it. Hold on. We have a propane torch. Wait, do you need metal bar? Yeah, forget it. We'll and come back. What's the most I would pay for a game? Hmm. 
Well, I'm certainly not one to want to do the thing where you pay like 60 bucks and then there's another 10, then another 10. I don't want cosmetics. I will pay for DLCs and stuff, so... If a game is like 30 bucks and then there's a bunch of little DLCs for new areas and stuff... You know, like City Skylines, it's like, oh, okay, I'd, I'd pay that. Guess it just depends on the game. I mean, technically, people have paid thousands of dollars for, like, uh, tens of thousands of dollars over the years for, like, World of Warcraft and stuff for games as a service, but... Damn, nothing. Yeah, I find it easier to play this with a keyboard and mouse. I guess uh, the controls, I mean, it, it kind of works good for, you know, like... It's kind of like like a platformer, like up, down, left, right is basically... There's not a lot of diagonal movement in this game. Well, there is. But it's like, you know, you got northeast, southwest, and then your cardinal directions, and that's it. You know, your in-betweens. So we're like eight eight directional movement. Feel dude, it feels like we're playing a, like a Nintendo or a like a Sega Genesis game. <sighs> Lars, thanks for the five. Yes, the relax. You guys will never forget that. That's amazing. Wow. We even played Teardown again recently, too. I should have actually beaten it, but I had to move on to other stuff. Uh, there is not one here, but I will find one and let you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lars. Chat, remind me, I owe, I think, two. Two puns we will read Can when you we get back to Can you kill a face. zombie with a relink? Would love to see that all the best from Hamburg, Germany. Germany. Uh, thank you very much. Hamburg, beautiful city. Been there a couple of times. Love the warehouse district. Gorgeous. Uh, Old-timey buildings. Very nice. Chad loves the relink. That's, that's how I know some people here are some real... Like uh, getting to be some OGs in the chat. That's that's old. All right, chat. I can read you two puns now. It seems pretty. It's, it's safe for puns. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, shopping centers. You've seen one. You've seen the mall. Okay. My ceiling isn't the best, but it's up there. Wow. I wonder if the fire truck will have one. Hog. Fire. Chad, you earned that. Oh, those were good. Firefighter jacket. Ooh, that's even better than what I got now. Oh, 
Oh, it's good for the cold, too. I'm a first responder. Damn near killed her. Sir, we're closed. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Whoa, leg, whoa, whoa, leg, what the hell? You'd appear out of nowhere from behind me, what the hell? Oh, that was a that was some lag. Damn it! Oh, that lag! Look at that lag, bro. ridiculous luckily I got scratched so that's fine we were lucky chat we were lucky Oof. is it the snow that's filling up the parking lot oh wonderful just a random zombie spawn Not now. Ma'am? This one FPS, Jesus. I gotta get out of this breeze. Pretty dangerous out there, boys. Get inside and warm up. We do have this medical kit. Let's see what's in there. Okay. One zombie pog.
All right, Jerry, what's our plan, bro? We got no. Uh, I'm gonna head back. I need food. Oh, you want some food? Huh? I can get you some. I can check this place for food. I got some. Here, jump in the truck when you're ready. I'll leave some food in the glove box for you. There you go, Jerry. Some good old, good old little vittles for you, brother. There's a survival. There's a game called Surviving the Aftermath. Can you play live, Raptor? Yep, we played that before. There's some playthroughs on the channel. Good game. Also, another one called End Zone: A World Apart, which is a fantastic little like post-apocalyptic game as well. Kill count. Kill count is up to 439. Oh, we're getting like one FPS here. What's going on? One more building we can check. I'll use a regular bandage. Damn zombies. Oh, uh, where's the building, Jerry? Northeast. Northeast, okay. I'll be like nurse. Did you know? And projects outward. Zombies are evil, and they'll hurt you. Die, zombie. Oh, Endzone was a part of the Humble Bundle in December? Oh, that was a great game. Endzone A World of Parts really fun. Double kill. That was sweet. I can actually see my ping in the corner. 66 milliseconds. Frames are a different story, though. Check these buildings. Yeah, I see where we're going. Pog jicked Zomboid. Yeah, 
Are you in that building? Not any zombies. I'm gonna I'm gonna get attention and then get them out of here. Oh, there we go. The frame. Look look at that, chat. The 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 frame snapped right back in. Look at that. And now they're gone again. One FPS. Got him. Uh, that was good. Hi, right, Jerry. I'm standing by for exfil whenever, you know. At the truck, you're saying? Hey, ma'am. There's still a lot around. Ah, uh, oh, I don't come over. I'm almost there. It's like three left now. I was getting low FPS, so I didn't want to risk dying to death. Come on, zombies, let's go find Jerry. All right, Jerry, I'm bringing some friends. We'll find you. Come on, people.
Why can't we all just play together instead of watching three guys play? You can play. We have a Discord. You're welcome to come join. You can communicate together, host your own servers and whatnot. You can get some games together. Yeah, feel welcome to use the Discord to invite people and... Ooh, it looks like someone might have a gun. Get your guns and water bottles, chat. We're gonna have a party. Oh, a Desert Eagle pistol? Frickin' Pog. Double holster. Bye, sir. Uh, let's see. Wow, Desert Eagle. first desert eagle I found in the game. That's some big find. What was that? Oh. Oh, it's a... What? A lead pipe through that woman's torso? Damn. Jerry, did you get in? Yeah. Is that you? All right. Come on, Jerry. Get Rex, sir. CJ from San Andreas? Come on, bro. Let's go follow the train. Let's go. Come on. All the trains, CJ. Come on, CJ. Follow the train. Come on, follow the train, CJ. Choo choo. Nice work, CJ. First try. All he had to do was follow that damn train. You joined the Discord? Awesome. Welcome. Sir, I would... Sir. God, busy here. Ooh, a lunchroom. Hell yeah. Frickin' chips? Oh my god. I'm gonna alert the zombies with all that om nom nom. Oh, Jerry, you kinda scared me.
Jerry, did you find anything? What is... Do we have a sledgehammer at the other base? At this point, it almost might be worth just driving there, right? We do. How many skills did Jerry learn so far? Well, he can do his ABCs, his 1-2-3s, he can tie his shoe. And he knows how to make a uh, Thanksgiving turkey out of his hand with finger paints. And then he knows how to decorate the feathers. Very good. He's very good at that one. Even adds glitter. It takes Jerry only 59 seconds to make minute rice. He's gotten so good at it. And he knows the names. He can remember the names of Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Wasn't that a 90s boy band? Yes. Jerry, yeah, we got some banging going on. How the hell does that zombie see me? Um, Jerry, we're gonna have company. They somehow saw me through glass. I don't know how they did it. Uh oh. I don't have a weapon anymore. My weapon broke. Jerry, critical. Equipping crowbar, standby. Kick some zombie ass. I don't know how the hell those zombies saw me through the glass window. I have no idea. Game is unplayable. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of, uh, a lot. Let there be a damn hammer in here. 
A sledge, that is. A sledgedly. There should be a sledgehammer. Screwdriver, egg. Propane tank here. It's going to be a long time. Time to get cleaned up. They need to add climbing on crates so you can check the back crates. Oh, Jerry, we'll test that out. We gotta we gotta wash up otherwise you know being dirty is would be a bad time. It's been a while so good idea to do. Hmm. can smell me from here. I wonder if that's a... Oh, that'd be interesting if that's a thing in future versions of the game where, like, the more blood and sweat and stuff that you smell like, the more they'll detect you. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Too many zombies you need a partner to help you? Well, I got Jerry here, and there's some other people from our community kind of joining on a search for a sledgehammer. But we do have a... Um, Uh, sledgehammer back at our main base. This is we're having a fun adventure, Chad Pog. Just washing up for supper, boys. done. All clean. Mm 
was up here washing up for like two and a half hours. Dear God. Jerry, we got nothing, right? Nothing. Wow. Another crowbar, Pog. Pog, lad. And more welding rods. At least we have more fortifications. Oh, what's your plan, Jerry? You want to go back to the car? What do you want to do? Yes. I was down to one actual. I'm Oscar Grouch to the aioli. With good hair? Chat, you love the hair. Chat just thinks I'm cute. Alright, Jerry, I'm with you. Back to the truck we go. Three guys walk into a zombie horde, and then what, chat? Hmm? And then what? And then bears? Okay. Alright, chat. Okay. Okay, and then creepers too? How dare you. How dare you, chat. That's why we can't take you anywhere, chat. We should have left you in the truck. <laughs> Jerry, which truck is ours? Is it the top blue one or the bottom blue one? Bind. Oh, you're right, Chet. The one with the windshield blown out. Oh, yeah. I forgot that.
could die to death. Bye, Bobby. We'll see you at the house or wherever. We'll meet again, brother. Tuck her hat out, brother. Oh, right, chat. You want uh, driving music. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Wait. Uh, let's try... Sorry, wrong song. Wrong song. Uh, let's try... Uh, maybe this song? No, not that one. There you go. I go to YouTube and type in YouTube trust and soul. Ooh, how to stay safe on you? Oh, how do we stay safe on YouTube, guys? Hold on, we need to know. We want to ensure creators and viewers have the tools and information they need to feel safe while on YouTube. And though the majority of YouTube's creators and viewers use YouTube to share, learn, and connect, we know there are instances of harassment and even sometimes displays of hate 
that are difficult for users and creators to see and experience. In this video, we'll walk you through some of the policies, tools, and features in place to help you feel safe on YouTube. To start, let's talk a bit about YouTube-specific policies that help protect against hate and harassment. Lol. Does everyone feel trust and safety? Gotta make sure, guys. Everyone make sure we have good vibes. Trust and safety, guys. Safety and trust. Oh, shotgun on the table? Hell yeah, brother. Oh, I wonder what that big old desert eagle I found looks like. What was that monstrosity? There she is. Let's see, welding rod, screwdriver. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff though. <laughs> no sledgehammer though. Wait a minute. Wait, we need to eat food. Food. But Jerry, did you fall in? Wow. Eat. Okay, let's see. We got so much stuff from that hall. Uh, so many watches. Let me, let's try to combine these two together. Hold on. What if we do this? All right, channel. I want to try an experiment and see if this works. Hold on. First, our hate speech policy. Content is considered hate speech when it promotes hatred or violence against groups of people based on protected attributes, such as age, gender, race, disability, religion, sexual orientation, or caste. Fair. Hate speech That's is fair. not allowed on YouTube, and we remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any of these attributes. Next, our harassment policy. We consider content harassment when it targets an individual with prolonged or malicious insults based on intrinsic attributes, such as their membership to a protected group, status as a survivor of sexual assault, or physical traits. Fair. This also includes harmful behavior such as threats, blackmail, bullying, publishing someone's private or identifying information, or encouraging abusive fan behavior against a specific individual, which you may know as brigading. Content used to harass others. Brigading videos are all over the platform. They do nothing about that. That's a lie. Is not allowed on YouTube. Also a lie. Now that you know about our policies, let's dive into some of the tools available to protect you. We'll walk through two options. 
First, you can report things that violate our policies. And second, you can moderate comments on your own channel, even if they don't necessarily violate our policies. Let's first dive into how you can report inappropriate or abusive content that violates our policies. To report a video, click the three dot menu on desktop Wait, or what the hell? and select report. Hold on. You'll be prompted to select the reason that best fits the violation in the video. And you can provide any additional details that may help the review team make their decision, including timestamps or descriptions of the violation. You can also report comments, thumbnails, and playlists with the same process. Just always look out for the three dot menu and select report. Note that reporting content for hate and harassment violations is anonymous, so other users won't be able to tell who made the report. One of my videos once was report was promo YouTube thought it was like literally terrorism because I was playing a game about 1920s United States where you sell alcohol illegally during times of prohibition. YouTube said that was a support of organized crime and or terrorism. Just just an FYI, trust and safety. Report. If you want to report an entire In other words, if you play mafia on YouTube, criminal. You are a criminal. Channel due to impersonation. Yes, it was called City of Gangsters. Or inappropriate use of their channel banner or profile picture. Go to the channel page you want to report, click about, and then report. Note that when something's reported, it's not automatically taken down. YouTube staff reviews reported content 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Reported content is reviewed against our community guidelines and is checked for age appropriateness. If no violations are found by our review team, no amount of reporting will change that and the content will remain on our site. If you have a privacy concern about content where someone uses your personal, uniquely identifiable information, please visit our help center where you can use our privacy complaint process. Next, let's walk through tools to help you moderate comments if you see any that are harassing or abusive. First, you can choose to remove a comment posted on your own channel. You can do this in YouTube Studio from the Publish tab or from the Watch page under Videos by clicking the three-dot menu on desktop or mobile and selecting Remove. The commenter will not know that you've removed their comment. If someone is being consistently inappropriate in your comments, you can hide them from your channel. Hiding a commenter will hide all of their past and future comments on your videos. All of their previous comments should be hidden within 48 hours. The user will not know that you've hidden them. And what? Two days? Wait. It's a ba YouTube can't even do bans without it taking literally the globe <laughs> rotating twice. It takes the massive monstrosity of Earth to rotate two times in order to, do, to ban somebody from the from the website <laughs> what and nothing will look different on their end if they try to post new comments on your videos there are two options you can use to hide a commenter from one of their existing comments or from youtube studio if you find a comment that they've left on your channel or video you can select the three dot menu and then hide user wait why is this person's text all jagged and mad from channel or to hide them from youtube studio you can copy the user's channel URL. <laughs> Angry face. Then go to YouTube Studio, then Settings, then Community. In the Hidden Users box, paste their channel URL, and then click Save. And finally, what tools can you use to protect your entire comment section from inappropriate or abusive behavior? You can create a blocked words list. Sometimes people may use words or phrases that you don't want associated with your channel. In YouTube Studio, go to Settings and then Community. Here you'll see a section for blocked words. In this section, you can add words or phrases that you don't want to appear in your comment section. When someone tries to comment using these blocked <laughs> words, they won't appear publicly and can be found in the Held for Review tab. Some creators choose to ignore this tab entirely so they don't have to see these comments. The commenter won't know that their comment has been automatically held for review. But what if it's a or mistake? You can choose to block links, which means new comments with hashtags or URLs will automatically be held for review. Okay, that's helpful for bots. That's helpful for bots because everything is. We get it in chat every once in a while. There'll be like a spam bot that comes in and it'll end with like dot something. Make sure you never look those up because that's just immediate, immediate trouble. 
Finally, you can choose to change your comment settings. You can do so for individual videos, or you can set comment defaults for all of your future uploads. With comment settings, you can choose to allow all comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, hold all comments for review, or disable comments. If you choose to hold comments, they won't appear publicly until you've approved them. Potentially inappropriate comments are held for review on your comments page in YouTube Studio under the Held for Review tab for up to 60 days. Comments that may be especially offensive will be... Uh, do I see legit comments being held or one... Uh, every once in a while in the, in the chat, like... Here, I'll show you guys. Here, check this out. Here's what I see for the chat. Apparently, Andrew Farm, inappropriate. He tried to utilize emotes. Yeah, the, these are emotes that are, yeah, it, it, all the time that, you know, trust and safety. I can, it's just I can never tab over during a game, you know, to, like, approve these messages, so it's stupid. It's dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> we filtered at the bottom of this tab. Remember, you can choose to ignore this tab entirely so you don't have to see these comments. To change this setting for an individual video, go to the video details page, then show more and then go to the comments and ratings section. But see, I think you now YouTube's to the point where it can try to detect when something's trying to be aggressive or offensive like this one. I don't I didn't have any of these words filtered, the word rope. It's starting to get smart enough to try to put sentences and stuff together and it can try Basically, they track everything that you say every day on the platform and they Prove or did uh, everything like that gets blocked. I have to literally reach over and approve it. I oh, that's the wrong one. To set comment defaults for all of your videos moving forward, go to settings in YouTube Studio, then go to community, then defaults. The setting you choose here will apply to comments on all of your new videos. The safety of our creators, viewers, and partners is our highest priority, and we uh, no, it's not, it is money. They are a corporation. Hold on, listen to that again. Creators, viewers, and partners is our then defaults. The setting you choose here will apply to comments on all of your new videos. Here's the lie detector. The safety of our creators, viewers, and partners is our highest priority, and we encourage you to use these various tools available to help you. Thank you for helping us protect this unique and vibrant community, and thanks for watching. All right, a lot of that I agree with, but also, you know, come on. But that's the, that's the shareholder boilerplate video. Anyway, I just thought it'd be interesting to see what would happen if we typed in the word trust and safety, that's all. Bow, 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 bow. 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 Wow, I have four sh <laughs> four shovels. What? How come immediately when we get to back to base, my character is immediately bored every time, man? Does everyone feel safe now? Ah, uh, to be fair, a lot of that is important. Like you don't you don't want somebody to get bullied for no reason. All, all these small there's a lot of small channels that do get picked on for stuff, but it's like, you know, on the other on one hand, it's like, you know. Don't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. On the other hand, stop trying to stop people from what they want to do. It's a two-way street for a lot of things. As long as they're not hurting anybody or, you know, whatever. Now, every once in a while, we'll get somebody in the chat who'll say, like, remember the other, a couple of days ago there was a kid in here and it's like, you suck or whatever. And I was like, oh, you, I don't know if you really believe that, dude, but, like, you know, it's all good. Like, welcome to the stream. And everybody gave him a Lego wall and then he was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then started asking questions, hanging out. People just want to feel appreciated a lot of the times and that's my frustration too is that i want to feel appreciated by youtube too i don't want to be pushed to the side mostly i just want to be left alone don't promote my videos don't hinder my videos let the viewers decide let you guys decide i handle that like a pro yeah well uh it is it is harder to make that it is easier to dunk on somebody and make a joke out of it, but it's a, it's a lot harder to... Yeah. It's a lot harder to do that. But anyway. 
And all right, what's our new what's what's our new mission, Jerry? What's what's the new mission? You haven't said anything for a while, Jerry. Let's get the Jerry Indigo sit rep. I don't know anymore. <laughs> you don't know anymore? Are you okay? Jerry's just find it. Well, we could go back to the other base. You want to drive to the other base and then just drive back? No. Why? Well, I mean. No, it's cool. Um, he's mad. Shoot. He's mad, guys. He's very mad. Uh, food stuff. Well, I mean, we hit up that greens earlier, didn't we? Wasn't there a lot of food in there? I brought back everything I found. It's not enough. I mean, we can go down to uh, March Wood or whatever it is. Whatever that place is. Isn't there a grocery store down here in this place? The map. Yeah, we could go pick up the sledgehammer, but Jerry, I think Jerry's just discouraged because we put in a lot of work to find it and didn't. But that's okay. We still brought back other stuff. Not everything's going to be a, a big win. Four minutes ago, Yang Ya, discussing YouTube's awful and nonsensical excuse for hiding the dislike counter. Ugh. Oh. Oh, let me... Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, so... Chat there... Okay. Let me ask you guys something, too. I, I was faced with a situation this morning that I didn't really care about, but everybody has been telling me that there was somebody on YouTube with, like, 175 subs who took my and a bunch of other people's videos on another video or on an uh, so me and a bunch of other YouTubers covered this game that's coming out soon and the developer asked me and all these other people if we could put um if he could put all of our videos on Steam as like a a constant live stream of the game upcoming of our reactions and stuff and and what we're excited about and whatnot um and so now, four minutes ago, the, the CEO of this company sent me an email saying that that person didn't reach out and basically wanted to clarify that, like... And it, anyway, I think it's within my right to maybe take that video down, but I don't... For myself, personally, I don't care, though other people might. And now it's kind of created an issue. Wow, this is just drama corner. Forget it. I'll deal with it myself as a... As an adult later. It's not even it's not even a big deal. It's nice that the CEO wrote me and was like, hey, we noticed this. All, fu all figured out. God, I am just being a drama queen, Jerry. Dear God. I need to go to Vegas. Do you want money, Jerry? Here, can Jerry, can you take my money to Vegas? And just gamble for me? No. <laughs> that no, that no was perfect. I heard him smile at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, come on, Jerry. I'll pay you to gamble for me. See, this is how good, this is how good Jerry is. Like he refuses to gamble for anybody but himself. Only Jerry will only let it ride for Jerry. That's the, that's it, man. That's the kind of guy he is. Uh, oh, that's right. If I go to uh, if I go to Vegas and try some of the buffets, that's a gamble too. I suppose. No, that's not true. Uh, I'm so distracted today, Chad. I'm sorry. No, no, a CEO is not the 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 company in question is not mad at me or anything. Basically, here's what this person's defense was: so, me and a bunch of YouTubers made videos on this game upcoming. They took all of our videos and put it into a big video, and they have it as a loop on Steam. This person took that loop and then re-downloaded it and was like, "Oh yeah, dude." Uh, see, this isn't copyright because, like, I, I downloaded it from Steam or whatever. So it's like, oh, it's from the dev. Or it's like, no, dude. <laughs> it's like saying, okay, so I'm going to come over to your house, chat, and steal your car. But it'll be okay, though, because when, um, 
when I when after I steal your car, I'm gonna give a shout out in the description of my uh, of my rap sheet when I'm arrested by the police. I'll give a shout out to the car dealership that sold it to you. So it's not theft. It's like what? That that's what that person's defense was. On the other hand, I didn't really care, but I was like, hey man, you shouldn't do that because like other creators might see this and not, might not be happy with you. Like you can't do that. I don't mind so much, but you gotta like. Don't be afraid to download a trailer and make your own video. That's okay. I've said too much, Jen. I've said too much. We're supposed to be surviving zombies, Jerry. We need to be focused. At all times. Steam equals pawn shop, man. I've ever played Star Wars Squadrons. I love Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, there's a vid, there's a live stream I think on the channel of me playing that. I enjoyed that game a bit. I also enjoyed the um. I also enjoyed the um. Uh oh, what was the name of that other Star Wars game EA made that was actually decent? Star Wars Fall Fallen Order, I think that was good. I uh, should have at least asked if they could do it. Well, yeah. They should have asked, and I guess that's the gripe. Me, I don't, I don't mind, because honestly, I'm not gonna like try to dunk on some small channel for doing something they shouldn't have done. It's like, it's okay. I'm sure I've done some stuff that maybe wasn't kosher, but I didn't mean to. I hope. Actually, that that did happen one time. I went to, uh, I went to uh, Google to look. I looked for official Minecraft images, right? There was a new update to Minecraft, so I was going to use one of the official screenshots from like Microsoft in one of my thumbnails. But it turns out it was not a. Uh, it wasn't from Microsoft. It was from from some other uh, uh, Minecraft YouTuber, and they had such a fit on Twitter and had all their audience attack me. And it's like, dude, you. This person didn't even bother to contact me. I would have gladly changed it, taken it down, apologized, and or. Uh, you know, gave them credit or whatever, and maybe even, like, said, oh, hey, my bad, like, this was from this guy, check him out. Like, I would But he went to Twitter and had a tantrum, and it was kind of cringe. <laughs> like, dude, relax, I didn't do it on purpose to spite you or to try to get ahead, I was just trying to have a live stream, my bad. Sometimes I don't have, like, not everybody always has the time to check the origin of every pixel, you know? I, I it, it was my mistake, and I should have, I should have verified that better. On the other hand, he could have also had a little bit better of an attitude, so. But he's probably got six million subs now, so who cares? And he went on to become Dream. Creator of the year? Was it a Wowa? No, it was it was actually quite a, a quite a talented uh YouTuber, but I mean, he probably had it happen before where people kept stealing his stuff. But on my end, it was an honest mistake. Although, I take responsibility for not checking like I should have. Although, I just assume that typing in Microsoft official and whatnot uh, wasn't enough. So, Well, he had a see the reason he did it on Twitter was because he had a higher um <laughs> he had a higher following on Twitter than me than he ha uh, he had less subs but more followers on Twitter so he did it on there to like try to berate who I don't even remember who I I honestly I have no idea I forgot But I didn't I didn't do it to like hurt anybody it was just a mistake You guys ever you ever make a mistake before or have an accident? Yeah, apparently this person never, never, never heard of that. Oops. It'll be a tough life. Aren't you afraid to be banned from YouTube Raptor? Uh, I wouldn't raise my voice against a company who's paying my monthly loans. What's well, the difference between you and me? I don't have any loans, so. I've invested my money intelligently and I don't really have to worry about it as much but isn't it a, a bad sign if I should be afraid about speaking out about something we all enjoy going away we don't want it to go how big is our base at least one 
Uh, we have this base. It's like a little warehouse, and then there's an extra storage warehouse over here. But we also have like a like a giant tire shop over by the uh, other side. I'm just fired up today, Chad. I don't I don't know. I should I should cut the attitude. I'm being sassy, and that's not what I want to be. But on the other hand, YouTube has definitely helped me to hang out with people like Jerry and stuff. So that's cool. Just remember that me criticizing doesn't mean that I'm all, it doesn't mean that I'm not thankful. Or uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um I'm grateful and I think a lot of things were a unique opportunity, but the more questions I asked to YouTube over certain things, the less opportunities they gave me. Like when I when I asked like what what counted as a view on YouTube, they got really squirrely and started dodging questions and stuff. So it's like, how come why are you keeping secrets from creators and stuff? But they don't want people to figure out the algorithm because otherwise they'll abuse it. But that's always you that's always been YouTube. You figure out something and then you kinda go with it. It's what created trends. So everybody's playing this Among Us game. Change the algorithm. Everyone's playing this Project Zomboid. Change the algorithm. <laughs> You'd stop using YouTube if they ban me? No, no, you wouldn't. Neither would I. It's just too easy of a resource, really. All right, but that's the last thing I'm going to mention it for the rest of the stream. All right, Jerry, anything you need me to do? I, I love how the buildings look, by the way. Look at look at the snow in this game. This does look amazing. All the little bits of snow on the roof and stuff, and on the on the pathway that we built up there looks good. Jerry, you need anything, bro? Can I help? I need just some mud. It's done. Okay. I don't want to mess your organization. I feel like I'm just going to make more of a problem by being unorganized. Yeah, all that stuff that's left in there, I always keep in there. Keep in there? Okay. Okay, Jerry. Gas station, police. That's been a while since we've been to the police station. I'm going to mosey on over there. Time out in my rubber room. Eh, that's okay. Wow, and the trees look pretty too. It's Christmas Eve in the game? <gasps> that's right, Chad. I only have a little bit of time to get Jerry a Christmas present for tomorrow. Never mind. Jerry? There's an awful lot yes. of zombies at the police station.
Got him, boys. We got him. Uh, what's our server setting on? Um, online? Alright, boys. We made it. Can you tell me a song you've been listening to recently? Um... Amen, brother, by Trucker Hat. Tucker Hat. Okay, we gotta get it. Gotta get a crif Christmas gift for Jerry. He's been extra good this year. He only died once <laughs> in the stream. He's been a very good boy. He's on the good kid list. Jerry, did you bring the truck here? M nines. Good music for this game. Wow. Ooh. Alright, ma'am. What can I use the other five slots for in the belt? Uh, it's uh, all for guns. Definitely don't need to wear it at all. Until we go back to the... Um... Maybe if we go out on an op. Jerry, did you bring the truck over to the police station? You did? What, what were you doing? Were you going to the videos? I cleared videos? this whole town out. The whole town? Yeah, the whole town. All by yourself? Yep. Okay. Well, Jerry, I'm going to give you the gift that keeps on giving, okay? A semi-automatic. Does that sound good? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you're more of a you're more of a black powder kind of guy? No, it's okay. Well, what do you want instead? Breach load? No, it's fine. Don't be like that, Jerry. Come on, we have guests. <laughs> Chat's watching. What do you do? You want do you want uh, bolt action, semi-auto, pump? Oh, it's pump. A oh, you're a pump action kind of guy, of course. As as in, you want a bunch of gas tanks from the gas station. Ooh, I found 
found the desert eagle. Oh, did you? Wow, what do you get for the guy who has everything in terms of caliber? Yes, it's almost a, a Jerry Christmas. Every time there's a horde around here, always find uh, one of them is the Oh stuff. yeah, it's a survivor. Yeah, <laughs> poor guy. It's the same one. Ah, uh, keep keep dying, keep trying. Oh yeah, what do you get for a guy who has all the gun? Yeah, a gun rack. All right, fair enough. Ooh, that'd be good to uh, put a gun rack on the truck. Amen, brother. the bodies here again <coughs> Betty boop what a dish give Jerry the double holster yeah we got we got plenty of those now I got a sling double holsters uh, did someone break the door to the police station yeah to the gun uh, maybe a zombie Someone probably broke it because I always lock it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just walked in there. I took all the guns, by the way. So that should be pretty cleared out. I lock it so people use the Jerry method. Jerry is the quintessential conversationalist. Jerry is uh, the man of action chat. Told you he's a he's action he'd be an action hero. I feel like the villains in movies do more talking than the heroes. I mean some movies is about equal, but like how much did uh how much did what's his name say, Schwarzenegger in uh T two? I mean he said he said a bit, but you know, it wasn't as much as Sarah Connor. Explaining like to uh, John Connor all the uh, like the War of the Machines and Kyle Reese and all that stuff. She probably probably didn't say anything about Kyle Reese. Let's be honest, but uh, you know, yeah, it's all quick. It, it's I mean, yeah, I mean, do you want a lot of lines? Or you do want lines. Everyone's gonna remember. Like, uh, I'll be back. That kind of thing. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Those are way more memorable. <laughs> Ice to see you, yeah, from uh, him playing uh, Mr. Freeze. Are oh, you rotating the guns and placing them? Uh, if you right click on an object and go to place, if you hold R, it'll rotate while you hold it. You can just rotate all your money around or your guns, whatever. Not every item has a placeable model. I've noticed some things don't, but for the most part, most things do. Gotta be like 90% of everything. There's a lot of stuff. Y'all's organization stresses me out. I'm a base organizer, farmer, cook in my game. Well, that's good. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to be organized in this base, though, or in this game, because so many people are coming back and forth, and there's a lot of stuff in this game. And when you use items, there's leftovers, too. So, like, when you are when you eat food, there's cans left over. When you, um, you know, when you have a broken weapon, then you have to have an area to store broken weapons for repair. And sometimes construction materials take... A lot of things are based on weight, so like... 
You could put all these planks in a box, but it takes up an astronomical amount of space. So a lot of times, you just leave stuff on the ground as a temporary storage area. Like you would in real life with, like, uh, logs and stuff. You can store them in a pile. The game doesn't give you an option to, like, store it nicely, though. Do people really use guns in this game? Yep, it's a good idea to use guns. There's no, there's nothing wrong with using guns in the game. Uh, aside from having enough ammunition to deal with what comes after you start shooting guns, which is more zombies. But if you're like at a, um, like there's a secret military bay or a secret like little research base here in the game, all the way over here. If you go here and start shooting, you know, it's not like a lot of stuff is going to come from around. It's all going to be within. I still got to go get my stuff from when I died, when I like plowed in the back of Jerry like three, three, four days ago. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we got a, we got quite a few people on. Yeah, there are explosives. There's pipe bombs in the game. Uh, Molotov cocktails. The engineer is the only one who can make uh, pipe bombs, but that's how it be. Put the cookie down now. So cool, though. There's a lot of areas to... One of the nicest things, too, is to not store things inside of the boxes, but to actually put it, like, on top of stuff if you can. It looks pretty damn cool. Like, it looks realistic. Like, if you had a zombie survival base, you're gonna have, like, cans and bottles everywhere, and... You know. Like, you want to be organized, but also, you don't want to die. And so sometimes you're in a rush to grab stuff and then leave. That's how it goes down. Chat, let's not use the word uh, sledgehammer in chat. That's a little offensive to me and Jerry right now. It's actually hurting our feelings. Okay. We could go ahead and call it perhaps a... a do something else, like a door assistant thing. Yeah. Uh, can people rob you here then? I guess, yeah. People could walk in and take your stuff, but... Uh, I would say the server is just kind of mutually helpful. You know, like, we have a lot of books and stuff, so if people want to read them to up their skills. Um, it just makes for a better time to just try to be helpful rather than to take away because if you if you take a bunch of stuff and go off somewhere and die it, it, everybody loses it so unless you can get it back a slug hammer sludge hammer wow Extra water ready to go. Amen, brother. All right. Well, I hope everybody claimed those keys that were on the Discord for the giveaway today. Uh, everybody's, again, welcome to join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. Also, follow on Instagram and Twitter if you haven't already uh, to get notifications and stuff when we go live. Appreciate everybody and their support and whatnot over the last year. It's been a, an amazing year. So many great people have joined the uh, channel and started their own channels and it's nice to have fun and support everybody so thanks for being a part of the fun oh Did you get anything good Sledgehammer. Oh. Oh. 
A face rearranger. Wow. Wow, chat. Wow. Tweezer. Twizzlers. Tweezers. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for today's stream. I'll be back in about an hour for a new real-time strategy game coming uh, soon to Steam. And uh, this game, Project Zomboid, available now. Great multiplayer. All you members are invited, so hop on. I'll see you guys uh, pretty soon. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to gr grab some stuff to eat, and I'll be back a little bit later. New video on the channel of another World War II game you might be interested in. Uh, another a strategy game we checked out a little earlier uh, in the year, a couple of times, a demo and a playtest, and now a full release of a game called The Troop. Check that out. Link's in the chat. Click or tap that link. Go check out that new game. Go say hi in the comments section, and I shall reply. Smack a like on the way out. And uh, wish Jerry a lot of good luck in Vegas as he leaves tomorrow morning. I'll be back for more Project Zomboid soon. And I will see you guys later tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys are amazing. Thanks for all the support. Good luck, Jerry. You'll probably have better luck at those blackjack tables than we did having uh, to find a sledgehammer today. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe you'll find yeah. one later. If Jerry finds the sledgehammer, I'm sure he'll let you all know on the Discord. So go say hi to him. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for the support. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, Jerry. Bye.